It's a new time, but the same great people. A new, it's a new time slot, everybody. It's a rainy day out here in Los Angeles. And sure is rainy. It's rainy out here, boy. El Nino. Buen venito. El Nino. That's what they say on Telemundo. Mm-hmm. Telemundo. I don't know. I love the way they announce. They sound sick. Yeah. Anyway, um, we did. We kind of made it. It's twelve ten. Pretty close. Not bad. But yes, we will be going live from now on at twelve p.m. So cheers. Seems that everybody cheers. in the crew and the audience seems to be a fan of this change. DPI. Sam, you got it. You. Let me see, Sam. All right, I've seen it. I've seen it. So I'll, I'll just go on and not mention it. <laughs> yeah, right. Everybody's got to know. Sam, what happened to your eye? Kim Kardashian. So I got a clogged oil duct in my eye, which I'm sure everyone's noticed. I've had like a bump on my eyelid. I didn't for notice like that. The past four months. I've noticed it. It's all I can see on myself every day. Oh. Um, but I got it from using this mascara and um, it just, it got worse and worse. Which mascara? Which mascara? Yeah. Ethan? <laughs> I know. I'm just, I'm no, I'm just test. I'm seeing where you want to go with it. How about we can, I'm sure everyone will know. Why? Know. We need to say, I know. Wait, why would everybody know? Because be, <laughs> it's. <laughs> well, may, maybe, sit, well, now that you've said it, I think everybody will think, know. When's the last time okay, I don't. Okay, I'll say this. I don't know if it was directly because of this, but it was while I was using L'Oreal Telescopic Lift. Ooh. It was while I was using it. So I don't know if it is a direct... Now, na say that name again. L'Oreal uh, Telescopic Lift. L'Oreal Telescopic... Telescopic Mascara? Yeah. All right, let me see. So this is the one that our friend was promoting? Makeup! Uh, yes. No, but here's the thing. I'm not blaming her. This is a huge brand. Oh, huge. This, this is reputable as it gets, but it might just cause a goiter in your fucking eyelid. Yeah, so uh, it just okay. got worse. My my ophthalmologist told me that it would go away if I compress it five times a day, but, like, who's going to compress your eye five times a day? So What is that? What is compress uh, like your eye? Like, hot compress. It doesn't seem that bad. So I tried that for a while, and it just was not going away. So I went, and uh, I had to have surgery. Oh, brother. Um. And yeah, I can't wear makeup for two weeks, so that's fine. Oh man! Makeup. Well, can you just do makeup over the um the bandage? <laughs> I could do that. And just Actually, paint an eyeball on it. I meant to print out a picture of my eyeball and just that's stick funny. it here. <laughs> a true. Big flash on the true. Tissue. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The I jewelry. Have that. I can just use that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I I uh, missed yesterday because I was sick. <laughs> I'm glad I took the day off because. I wasn't good, man. And it makes me fucking sick. It always hits me so hard. This morning, I blew a chunk of my brain out, I think. <laughs> Excuse me? All righty. What does that mean? Like through your nose? When you get sick, like real mucusy, towards like when you start feeling a little better, uh -huh. if you blow super fucking hard and long, like several times, do you guys know what I'm talking about? Where like a mass comes out? Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Where you hit the, like, he back and forth, it. and then it comes out in a wad. What he did you do? It. What was that movement, A.B.? I still got a bit. What was this? <laughs> That's what? what I would, yeah, whenever I'm trying to get it unclogged from my nose, I would go, and then it would come out in a big wad. You do that short of breaths? My, no, my nose. Because you're breathing out. Yeah. You're you breathing like, in, you, you but go, you're breathing you in. in and out, in and out, in and out, so that it suctions it out. You're breathing in through your nose? Yeah, well, I'm blowing, you know, <laughs> and back and forth. Is anyone confused? No. No. I, Not really. I was just wondering where you were going with, with this. With, with you, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> no, you just take a big breath. I'll do it right now. I have a tissue. <laughs> Demonstrate, please. I mean, I've got it, but like, I don't think I'm doing anything crazy. Yeah. It's like the pandemic when the celebrities taught us how to wash our hands. Yeah. I mean, you take a big breath, because I'm confused about breathing in through your nose. That doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> your nose is clogged. Right. In general, I think I would do... That's what <sighs> I'm doing. I don't like that. <sighs> <sighs> You're blowing that the brain out. 
Oh, nasty, bro. I can't breathe. Nice, that. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> so you don't do it, but you don't do it like that, AB. I mean, if I have something <laughs> lodged in my nose, sometimes I will I'll go in and out to try to get it. Yeah. What does in and out mean? What? Am I the only one confused? You <laughs> breathe it in. So yeah. I, I believe he's saying with his nose clogged, he rapidly breathes in and out to try and loosen up what's it, what's in there. Is that right, AB? Yes. Yeah. That's that was my understanding. I can't imagine breathing it in is going to help. I mean, he's wiggling it. I'm a one-way. It's one-way. It's a one-way street for you, baby. You know. The brains flow one way. Do you, do you have trouble with the power <sighs> method? I just... <laughs> no, I don't have trouble with it. It's just if I really want to get more out, I'll go in and out. Next time I got some big snot, I'll, I'll let you see it. Video that for yeah. me. <laughs> Let's get the technique. <laughs> But at what, so what was the surgery like, Sam? I see you got, I mean, you're, you're all, you're hoothied out. <laughs> what was the um, surgery like? Oh, <laughs> um, they put a needle in my eyelid I... and numbed it. Then they had to put a clamp on my eyelid and turn it inside out. I hate that so much. And then, no. yeah, that was, no. that was probably the worst part. It was just so uncomfortable because that's not a lot of space. What kind and, of like, clamp? Um, have you ever seen like how people get their tongue pierced? It's kind of like a yes, like I don't know. It makes little like it has like a circle, like rings. Yeah, clamp. It was sort of like that, but then they flipped my eyelid inside out and made an. Inside oh, I hate that. Oh. Yeah, it was. God damn you, L'Oreal. It was really oh. uncomfortable, but it's fine today. It's just I just have a black eye right now, so and you're I not in pain. Medicine in it, so and you're so brave and strong. You are so brave. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It looks badass. It, it does, does look kind of good. I'll be straight up. Can I say what we're doing this weekend or no? No. I'll say we're doing a, a group building project. We're building, or a group <laughs> team building project. That's what they call it in corporate world, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. That is what we're doing. We're doing a team building project this weekend that we're all excited about. Oh, yeah, which means I should mention the reason that we're doing it today, or, well, yesterday but which is now today's show, Tuesday, which I don't usually do. Hold on, let me get a sip of this. As I was saying, um, next Monday, the coming up Monday, well, yesterday was Monday, so it's not exactly a week from now. This Monday, not to be confused with yesterday, <laughs> in six days, we will not be having a Monday show. Why? Because... Of, the team. of a team building exercise. So we were Very gonna good. take the um, the Very holiday good. off yesterday, which is today's show. So when I say this Monday, I mean next Monday, just to be clear. It's coming Monday. This coming Monday. Mm -hmm. um, we were gonna take that day off because it was a holiday. But we, we did a switch, a swap. No, <laughs> yesterday was a holiday. Yesterday was a holiday, right? And we did a swap. We traded the Mondays, except now we're doing it on Tuesday, which is today. What are you Not to be confused saying? with next week. <laughs> Yesterday was Monday. We didn't do a show then. Correct. Because yeah. I was sick. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? But we would have had <laughs> if you weren't. We would have done it yesterday. Yeah. We would have worked on the holiday. Absolutely. So we could take next Monday off. That, but we didn't because you were sick. That's what we're doing today. Right. We're doing that today, which is Tuesday, oddly. Oh, yeah, oddly. Doesn't make a lot of sense. No. Anyway, that we're doing a show, right? Sense. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the Keemstar Bridge is building, by the way. Really? Uh -huh. Nice. We're, we're aligned with Vosh, Tipster, and Keffels. Mm. We've aligned. Me and Keemstar have dabbed up in the war, the righteous war against pedos. Which is a right, as righteous of a war as there can be. What? Now, I'm not saying they're pedos, but what I am saying is that Vosh is probably one. And the other two, we can call them pedo sympathizers. Well, I don't want to jump to conclusions. <laughs> Thank you, Bobby. We got a new Bobby drop. Play that first one. Getting fucked by a horse. Bro, chill. Well, I don't want to jump to conclusions. <laughs> I love them. 
Yeah. It sounds um, even better, like pitch down. You pitched it down? Well, I don't want to jump to conclusions. <laughs> you. <laughs> you can really like taste and hear yeah. the pronunciation. Well, the and here's the horse one. Getting fucked by a horse. <laughs> wow. Wait, I just realized something. If we're taking Monday off, oh boy, that means Tuesday we're also taking off. Why so, does that mean that? But why shouldn't we have stayed another day? Should we stay another day in our team building exercise? I think we could use all the team building possible. I don't know why I was confused about. We have already planned every single thing, <laughs> but I think there could be. Um, well, would everyone be okay with that? Would everyone be? I, yeah, I could, I'd be down. Yeah. Everybody's Definitely got their little build oh, some teams some more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let me ask. Team building. Let me ask. Me. Let me. I don't have a plan. Let me. <laughs> Everybody's got their. Little Everybody's plans. got their little plan. Can we do this after the show? Like for example, Monday we were supposed to do a show, <laughs> but <laughs> Tuesday we had to do it because I was sick. <laughs> Everybody's got their plans. Can we extend and stay Monday and leave Tuesday? I'm like a dog chasing cars. I wouldn't know what to do if I got it. <laughs> Dude, I don't give a... Bro, I don't care what anybody says. Fuck Heath Ledger, rest in peace. Fuck River, Phoenix, my guy. Who's River? The Phoenix. The Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> Fuck the Joaquin. Take a walk. More steak? like... How much day quill are you on? More like now? take a walk, <laughs> Phoenix. Oh, you started by because saying because the only Joker, <laughs> the only Joker that matters is is Chet. Is Chet? Chet oh, and I. I see where you're going. Wagwan. He's the <laughs> fucking legend. Hit me with some Chet. <laughs> I wouldn't know if I got him. I wouldn't know what to do if I got it. He's so good. Everybody's Wagwan. got their little plans. Blocked. <laughs> by the way, blocked by Chet. That's a chat. That's not a badge of honor. That's a that's a shame that I wear because I love Chet. You didn't get to see his Macbeth monologue. He did Macbeth. He did, and it who, was so good. As who? Wait, you're fucking with me. He did to Chet be or played not Macbeth? to be. In his, he put out an Instagram video to be or not to be. Well, let me see it. I got you. Well, that's to be or not to be, isn't that Henry King? Oh, Hamlet, 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 not yeah. Not to be. Whether it is nobler in the Macbeth. Pie. All right, let me see Chet's uh, magnum opus. Oh, no. Hold on, we'll get figured out. Hold on. Our travel agent says, are you asking me or Eva? Our team building leader? Our travel agent? I mean... What you want? What, what are we talking about? What does that mean? We could be traveling anywhere. And we are traveling everywhere. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Wait, I... Bro, I want to fuck this bitch. Um, Dan, so, so... my mom is telling Dan why we can't extend. <laughs> so I'm reading Dan's messages to me from my mom. Mm -hmm. Also, Donna is... At, uh, she's asking, why did you have eye surgery, Sam? Well, we don't need to do that again. <laughs> What, what's my mom, A.B.? Rewind a little. I wish. <laughs> He's an angel. It's rewind time. Uh. Alright, so anyway. <coughs> what are we doing? I did a lot of, did, did, did a lot of NyQuil this weekend. <laughs> so yeah, that is what's happening right now? Olivia sent the Chat Hanks video. If you want to do that. I want to watch it, that shit. It's beautiful. Am I? It's hot. Is anyone hot in here? <laughs> I can turn on the cold. air. What you doing? Um, yo, he looks hard, bro. I like his like. He's like high school bad boy. He looks wonderful. Fred Durst. Wait, that's Chet. It looks like Jake Paul. Yeah, he looks like Jake Paul. Yeah, what the fuck? What? What? Dude, he's gone Jake Paul chic. Wait, are we sure that? Play the video. That's definitely Chetina. Okay. It's posted on Chet Hanks with an X. Cause he's hard like that. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Olivia. I see the Fred Durst. It's a Durster. Yeah, I he's a. Dur that. But <laughs> he's anyway, a I was saying, yeah, I took a lot of Nyquil. That shit's good, but man, it really fucks me up. Yeah, yeah. They're not really. 
It really uh, it lasts here, for a long time. Here we go. All right, go ahead, Chetina. I'm not to be. That is the question. <laughs> Whether it is nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of <sighs> outrageous fortune. He's really taking his time. Or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing end them. To die. <laughs> to sleep. No more. And by a... Okay, hold the phone. Chet is unironically amazing. A talent. Yeah. He, he's ridiculous. And you can hear it when he does the Joker. Even when he's goofing around, that dude nails everything. He has a very versatile vernacular. It's very impressive. If he wasn't such a weirdo, he'd be a leading man. Yes. Yeah. His brother ended up being the actor. Nobody cares about him. I'm sorry, but peace and love. He just looks like a miniature Tom Hanks. This is the new version. To Agreed. revisit and go deeper. This is Tom.0. <laughs> Oh my god, that was moving. I never thought Fred Durst would deliver such beautiful uh, liloquies, soliloquies. To be or not to be! You know. Wow. Where are we doing? What are we doing today? Uh, Teddy Fresh. Hey, let's you thank our. Oh. We don't have a sponsor. So, what I want to say is yo, I'm wearing this shirt. We're going back to our streetwear roots, baby. Look at this. I think they call it PK fabric. PK, Hell it's yeah. it's um PK fire? PK cut fire. and sewn each block. It fits phenomenally. It, it looks it. amazing. Let's be honest, it's a large. It's too big for me. I'll be just let's be real about wow. it. Wow. Or no, to the XL or a, I think it's a large, but it's oversized. You know what I mean? <sighs> I love this shirt. Free shipping all month long. That's about 10 days left. I don't know how many days are left. I don't know that how many days are in each month. Who could? I don't do all this bullshit. Hell no. There's 29 days this month. Oh, so there's only nine days left? Just look at a calendar. Why do you Wait, need to... what the fuck? Why what is you... this story? Are you high, bro? Maybe like back in the day before electricity, you would want to count on the knuckles or some shit. But I don't have any need for that. <laughs> and Einstein said, a genius man will not remember what he can easily look up. He said something like that. And I, myself, it's myself, a child of Einstein. Bro, are you fucking high a right now? predecessor of Einstein. Mm. 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 Carry myself in the same vein. Free shipping, guys. Teddyfresh.com. Check it out. Look at all this. Beautiful stuff. Gorgeous. Support your fruit dealers, people. Where's this shirt that I'm wearing? Oh, here it is. Oh, man. This shirt is so nice. I'm being straight up real with you guys. Look at that. Fuck me, bro. That's Sh hot. Shit, bro. Oh, that's hot. Fuck me. All right, that's it. Thank you. Why am I so hot? I don't. Is anyone know. else hot? No. Mm -hmm. Something I'm happening to me today. That's hot. I can put the. Can you do the one above me? You. Turn it. I just did. Yeah. Do you want more? I don't think it's on anymore. <laughs> You're going to look so hot. Oh, maybe because I'm drinking hot tea. Do you guys think that might be why? Yeah, it can contribute to that. Certainly. <laughs> I'm hot. <laughs> Are you guys glad we came back and did this show on Tuesday? <laughs> yes. I'm thrilled. Uh, I've been asking for a Bevo update for <clears throat> weeks now. And uh, theoretically, we're we're gonna get to that today. Well, so. every day Bevo is piling on the updates. Yep. And man, they're good. <laughs> they are good. So let's take a look here. Oh yeah, reminder, free membership for those of you guys who have been YouTube Premium for three months. You get a free membership. Correct. So do it here. Don't do it anywhere else. I thought it was free. What do you go who are you gonna give it to? Jack Septicai? Oh, Markiplier, off. I needed your free... No, I need it. Jack it off. Those guys don't do ju fucking Holocaust jokes. I need the free membership. Otherwise, love goes home. Yikes! 
for and these love, guys. And love, it's not please. personal. No, I know. I, I it's a it. budget crisis. I know, I know. We're down bad here, guys. We're getting to the threshold. No. I'm going home soon, guys. I think I'll give my free membership to Charlie. Yeah. Uh, penguins. What? That's Shut up, up, dude. You, you really think need Charlie it. needs that? We need it. We got to send people out from America, dude. Thank you, love. And you're, only, attention, you're advocating guys. for yourself. Yeah. What would you do it's if you got sent back to Sweden? Bag. If you sent four me back to Sweden? What would you do if you got sent back? I'd just move back home with my parents. Dude. I'd lay on my couch, my dad's couch all day. Would you be okay? No. Dude. No. I'd be holding down back. You better make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it sucks. Cool. I'd have to sell my cats. No, don't. Not your cats. I mean, how, how would I get home? Are they valuable? <laughs> yeah. They're valuable cats. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to even pay for your flight back. <laughs> no, no, I know. Yeah. I know there's a couple of boats every now and then. I could send you on like a slow boat, like a three week journey across yeah. the Atlantic. Yeah. Are you got to leave your so hit that sub button, guys. Please, thank you. Everybody. Actually, Dan, you I didn't even check the stats. Did we get a lot of new members from this? Or is people are people taking advantage of it or is it not a big deal? Uh I'm not sure <laughs> if in the back end it distinguishes ones that come from that method, but it well it does. Let me we'll show look. if we got a lot of new ones. Yeah, I'll check right now. I don't know how many people actually use YouTube Premium. I do. I love YouTube Premium. I do too. Wait, I should give myself a membership, dude. Can I do that? Um, there is a. Fairly significant bump, actually. Great. And can you parse out the gifted? It gift? doesn't. It doesn't separate them, unfortunately. Um, and I'm like, it's just one big bumping. pool. It, the extension's not looking good, guys. I'm I'm searching alternative <laughs> theories, AB. Alternate to, um, theories. Go ahead. Um, Zach, take it away. Oh wait, I did, I did find uh, it separates at least just all gifted versus recurring memberships, mm -hmm. and I there's really a good. healthy amount of those. So, I can really give it. So yeah, shout out, shout out YouTube Premium. What was the number? Did it say it? Uh, well, as a percentage of the total, it's like a third of them are gifted. You mean from that? From that day, yeah, the total members we got from that day, right. only a third were gifted. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fantastic! Yeah, that's good. Love that. Seven days a week. We haven't talked about a single fucking thing. Yeah, we dude. haven't. Let's let's do that. Yeah, we're I don't want a good time though. I don't want to. No, we're having a good time. <laughs> I don't want it today. Today's I was not even supposed to be here. <laughs> It's a national <laughs> holiday. And now I'm pissed because we can't extend our vacation. Well, it's not a national holiday. And it's not a Yesterday vacation. Yesterday was. A and we weren't here. But all it's like. Yesterday a was a holiday. Or, yeah, and you stayed home. No, but you didn't stay home to observe the holiday. You stayed home because I was sick. Yeah, if you're sick oh, on a holiday. You, you, you didn't actually honor the presidents yesterday. Fuck but no. Today is the day to honor. Dead presidents don't represent me. Okay, well, let's. Do you want to do like a presidential themed episode today? Would you like to discuss? I don't fuck the, with them. Any? I like the. Who's I'll, your favorite president? George Washington. Who's your least favorite president? I don't have a least. I don't know. George Bush? I don't know. He sucks. Trump? <laughs> yeah, I mean. He's an answer. Right. I don't know. So who's maybe. worse? Jo Georgie? George Bush? Or. I think George Shut Bush. Up! Like, pound for pound. I mean, let's see if Trump gets a second term. George Bush did. George Senior. I mean,. Junior, 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 yeah, yeah. please. Because that guy pretty much like destabilized the entire world. He did kill like a million people for no reason. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's destabilized yeah. even to today. Yeah, yeah, real we got bad. him from that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, he sucks. He sucks. George yeah. might be the worst. And yeah. domestically, he increased spending a bunch and cut taxes a bunch. He fucking sucks, dude. He sucks, he put dude. Us into a giant deficit. Dude. He sucks, dude. Yeah, I think fucking George Bush Junior might be the worst. Is he alive? Yeah. Unfortunately, Unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, what his idea. dad passed away recently, though. Yeah. But he was so old, dude. Yeah. His dad was also president. I don't know if you know that. It was a dynasty. I, I always thought there was one of them, but then I realized at some point there was two. So yeah. George Bush Senior was president for two terms, right? Please or was clap. it one? I don't know. It was one. Uh, he was a one timer. Yep. And then 
You know what's crazy is Jeb almost became president. That was almost a three-time fuck the earth fest. For real, dude. I thought we were against royal families here in the U.S. Yeah. Yeah. We got the whole fucking shitty bloodline in our office. They couldn't have picked a more inbred-looking-ass family to (laughs) become our royalty. (laughs) Best president's got to be George Washington, though. The guy fucking ruled. He was so (laughs) awesome. Are we... Talking Historically, about, or are we talking about Hamilton our, and George Washington? Our, yeah. our, our friend <coughs> Lindman we, Wells. Yeah. I mean, both. What's the difference? Both. <laughs> You're so right. They both Same. have such great belts. No, George <laughs> Washington, like he sent this country adrift. He gave us that that gentle push that brought us to where we now know as the wonderful, beautiful. That's well, a little. You're pushing it. You know, we have troubles. But we will become better, and we will overcome. George Washington, they wanted to make him a king. Did you know that, love? No. And he said, no, we're fighting this war to avoid kings. After eight years, two terms, he said, I am retiring. And it's because of him, and him alone. Go off, king. (laughs) The the two-term limit was uh, enacted. So that kings will never rise. Despots, autocrats will never rise in this country of freedom and liberty. The limit wasn't actually enacted after him. It was just a tradition. Well, they made it uh, the law after a fucking LG, LGBD. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite president, LGBD. Uh, and then B, yeah. lit LBJ. It wasn't LBJ, it was FDR. FDR. Yeah. Wait, who's Lyndon B? He was uh, he was Kennedy's uh, yeah. vice president. LBJ, they call him. Sucks. <laughs> oh, FDR was a good president too, though. Well, and that I guy did. Jump to that dude was in a wheel. That dude was like sick as shit too the whole time. Uh huh. He pretty much like just sacrificed his body and health. Getting fucked by a horse. Do we? <laughs> I don't think that but happened I mean, to FDR. No, I don't think. I don't think that's right, Bobby. No, FDR didn't fuck horses. Yeah, maybe that was Vosh. Oh, right. <laughs> right. Yeah, George Washington was dope, though. Obviously, you if you judge him by today's metric, he owned slaves and he, you know. Just that one thing. Did a lot of that, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah, a that, big one. That's that a big was, one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So if you judge him by today's metrics, obviously, you know, that's a, that's a big uh, minus. But if you take him, you've got to, in, in some sense, I think it's important to look at historical figures not in the con not in the context of our current day but to because if you do that everybody's gonna be scum we're gonna well there'll be no heroes left that's true and if you ask pearl <laughs> um his slaves were actually they loved him and they were <laughs> yeah, they, they were super down for they him. thought mm-hmm. of him like a second father mm-hmm. so that's good <sighs> okay okay um, <laughs> where what the fuck are we talking about? I, I, you wanted to honor the president. president. Dude, There's a spitball okay. in here. We got to shout out Abe Lincoln next, though. I do. Yeah, shout Abe was out. Talked about Abe. So Abe was good, you know. Abe. The thing is, Abe was good, mm. but I don't know if it was a mistake. Maybe it was would have been better if we just parted. Sep, part, you know what I mean? Like maybe we should have parted. Hell no! Nah. Fuck no! Hell no! Nah. Maybe that would have been better. Just go, you know. Well, the slave thing was good that he got rid of that. Yeah. Uh-huh. Fuck yeah. That's the, that's the big one. That's a dumb. <laughs> that's the main but reason. The, the, one of the big problems with our country today is this <laughs> cultural divide that goes all the way back to the Civil War. Yeah, but... I mean, you still got these fucking Confederate flag flying Dixie motherfuckers who talking about... It's because we didn't... Co- heritage. <laughs> you're, not, you're not nothing but a terrorist. It wasn't... It well, wasn't a mistake to do that. The problem was they didn't finish the job. That's right. Mm-hmm. They should have killed everybody in the South? No. Well, they should have killed all the leaders. That was a mistake. Well, one, yeah. one president that had his head in <laughs> yeah, the game was, was uh, JFK Kennedy. Nice. <laughs> what? <laughs> JFK Kennedy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a... What's his name? What are you, what are you going for there? What's no, the, no. what does the um, acronyms mean? Mm-hmm. John F. Kennedy. And then, so his name is what? JFK Kennedy. Okay. All right, J- John yeah, yeah. F. <laughs> I don't know. 
Maybe yeah, you're onto something. Well, maybe. Somebody in the chat know. said, feels like substitute teacher day. I, I agree. True. Yeah, that's a good vibe. vibe. I like substitute teacher day. And it's raining. Mm -hmm. I don't know for why. When I was in school, <coughs> some teachers were like, it's raining. I'm not even going to try today. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to put on a movie. There, there is one thing we really need to get into, which is the Jesse Lee Peterson stuff we've had in the doc. It's killing me. You're right, because he's calling in tomorrow. Yeah. And I'm so excited to finally connect with this great man. <laughs> I think begins. I'm excited to go through his uh, Socratic method mm. of uh, investigating. He really is a fantastic um, investigator. His line of questioning is phenomenal. You gay? Very unique. Um, what the fuck we got here? I guess I'll just skip. Let's see. Rachel from Jeff's, the cartel girl. People are wanting to date her on the subreddit. Um. Let's see here. Rachel D. I know this is a little weird, but I thought I would shoot my shot. She was great. He says, I am 25 years old and also living in San Diego. He's a paramedic. Good dude. People who are paramedics, good dudes. Good dude. Um, so, anywho. Uh, oh, we have a photo of him. Can I open this? Yes. I mean, he posted it. Yeah, let me see what he looks like. Oh, yeah, I remember this. I was like, oh, that's Mario. For, um, for, that's like real life Mario. <laughs> Mario from like Mario and Luigi. That's literally Mario. It, from, I, I see it. But he looks like a fu And also, he's got this c really interesting mustache pattern. Mm -hmm. He's so cool. That's rare. I've never mm -hmm. seen anything like that. That's a rare stash yeah. right there. That looks like the Wu Tang logo. What's oh, that? shit. <laughs> There's a little here, too. Yeah. Yeah. Tiger style, dude. Can we connect them? Maybe, I don't know. Well, that's. Uh, I don't want to. Well, she probably That's up saw to them. it. That's up to them. She yeah, probably she saw, saw it. it. True love. Listen, love happens in any way. Exactly. All over the place. Exactly. It could, it could be on the show. It could be because of the show. Mm -hmm. And true love will find you in the end. Just know that I'm your friend. Daniel true Johnson. love will find you in the end. Fuck yeah, dude. This is a message with a cost. <laughs> Only if you're searching can it find you in the end. Sing Walking the Cow next. <laughs> you're right. That's a beautiful love song. What are we talking about? Okay, good, Rachel. Thank you. Um, somebody ran an AR generator to show Wait, us. Before we move on from that, people are already asking when is the next episode? Welcome everybody, and I'm so glad to be here today. We are talking about the next Bachelor episode. That would be next Wednesday, am I right, Sam? It would be the 28th. The 28th would be... Next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Oh, that is next Wednesday, yes. The next Wednesday, we will be moving into the second round of dating, which we're so excited. In fact, this is groundbreaking. We've never made it this far. <laughs> wow. Wow. And we will be having a romantic one-on-one -on -one dinner. I want to um, have like a little kind of like a pizzeria, Italian, you know, romantic, like uh, mm. Lady and the Tramp style. Yeah, 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 we, yeah. We got it all. We got it. And do we have um, the chandelier and the candle holder from Beauty and the Beast? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The candelabra. I've had over 40 pizzas in the Love last that. Days. Love them. Truly memorable character. Are there any other Disney animated characters that you'd like to incorporate into this date? I'd like to fuck a horse. <laughs> Is there a horse one? No, I want to be the horse. Sorry. I don't think there's any hot horse Disney character. No, fuck sorry. my horse! Sorry. If Fear there it? is... Is that Disney? Oh, am I wrong? I don't think it's Disney. Oh shit. What about yeah, Bambi? Disney's Pinocchio. That's not a horse. Bro, I don't even want to joke like this. This is so sick. Not a horse. The dude is my so dog? Sick. Why I'm not. Not, fu I'm not <laughs> fucking. Dog's name's Bambi. No. Yeah. No, not your dog. No, that. Not your dog. Oh, uh, it's fucked up. But the other, the I, other Bambi. No, I didn't a, say it. It's a that. deer. It's fucked up. <laughs> you the one that thought about me having sex with your dog. I didn't even put that out you into the world. Bambi. Well, okay. Poor I was talk dog we we're talking jumped. about Disney movies, Poor not <laughs> Zach's. The category wasn't Zach's dog. Poor dog jumped out of a window, man. Have some compassion. Oh Jesus. I'm never beating the bestiality claims now. <laughs> <laughs> um, next Wednesday. 
Next one. We'll be having a romantic candlelit dinner. We'll have Love Bot across from Jeff Whittock, the uh, lovely bachelor himself. And we will commence a beautiful one on one date in which he'll choose five. Um, I believe three. We decided three people. Oh. Did we? I think you'd <laughs> said. We'll talk about it. We'll talk. Yeah, we'll talk. Okay. Uh, just one. Does day. anyone have NyQuil? <laughs> uh, you don't need any more quill. He's he's running low, bro. Does anyone have Benadryl? <laughs> I need to I'm, talk drunk. <laughs> I'm drunk. Uh, one note about the uh, if you were in the top ten, one of the finalists, you should have received an email with next steps this morning. So uh, if you're watching and you did not get that, please email me. Very good announcement. Very good. Fantastic announcement. So someone ran an AI generator to show Jeff's dream girl. Uh, you guys may remember he said small nostrils, good lips, nice hair, right, and yeah. a little dangerous bad. Here is okay. dream Jeff's dream person. That'd be Michael oh, wow. Jackson. <laughs> he does have tight nostrils, man. Oh yeah. I didn't have the surgery on my nose. Don't be ridiculous. You didn't have surgery. Stop it. You're being silly. It's not true. <laughs> Dude, Michael Jackson, like, <laughs> the pedophilia thing aside, it's, it sucks that that's a thing, because he really is such a tremendous, amazing, historical and cultural One of figure. a kind. Oh, yeah. I mean, the raw talent in this one guy was absolutely nuts. You know, you could take all the talent in the world and fit it into a five year old's pinky, and it still wouldn't be, uh, it's like a black hole of talent. Mm -hmm. Sucks in all the kids around him. <laughs> it's a black hole of talent where the gravity is so immense. The, the event horizon is um, Neverland Ranch. Right. You left me in a black hole of rage and confusion. Avi's conveniently not at his desk. Oh, he is at his desk. You sneak. <laughs> I saw you in the you bottom sneak. there. Sneak. Stop it, Avi. You sneak. You sneak. Avi, you're being ridiculous. <laughs> I didn't have a surgery. Stop it. <laughs> this is you know, my. You know who? Uh, you know who I've like shifted my admiration from that generation for to hmm. is prince we still have prince prince be, is alive still? no prince is dead but i'm saying yeah. rip but i'm saying stan prince. prince instead of MJ. you know i'm not same super, era you I'm, know i know that similarly multi-instrumentalist i'm not super familiar with his discography you got to get into prince, that, yeah, prince motherfucker all, could play the goddamn guitar like no one else. Play the drums. He could do it all. Mm -hmm. Seemed like a real interesting Play dude. Play basketball. And, Play basketball. Well, yeah. here's my favorite thing about him. I don't know a lot, but from what I can tell, he never fucked any kids. Yeah, doesn't have pedo accusations. Big, so that's big a plus five. in his category. Yep. That's, that's a nice. fat vibe. Did you fuck any kids? No. Fat vibe. Nope. <laughs> the vibes are off the chart. Yep. Sam's choice for the bachelors were fucking horrendous. Somebody on the subreddit said, oh, that's not nice. Like, seriously, no short stack thick girls? <laughs> you know, like goblins get drawn in porn? Sam, what the fuck? I think it's pretty sussy. Why didn't you get the goblins? Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Yeah, Vosh responded with this context video, which I, I understand everybody's over it. So I'm going to try to just touch on it quickly. Tacoma wept. And not, not, I'm not going to talk about it the whole show. I mean, we've already been 50 minutes, 40 minutes. I didn't talk about anything, let alone Vosh. We've all jerked at the lolly. It's Did you want to do together. Jesse before then? Let's just do... because he's calling in tomorrow? Yeah, we should probably do that. Yeah. Um, Amazing. <laughs> Dan, do you want to do an update on the Star Trek chair? Because I know people keep riding, riding me. They say, Ethan, you're reneging on your... Uh, well, so the promise to Dan. So there actually is a kind of a not an update about that directly, but a really interesting thing I came across. Oh, wait, no, somebody posted a subreddit. That's why I saw this. Um, the actual chair is going on auction next month from the show. How much uh, do you think that's going to go for? So in this article, they say the people that are doing the auction are 
estimating fifty to a hundred thousand dollars. But this article says, and I kind of agree that that's probably pretty conservative. It's probably going to be a lot. Dude, that. that's ridiculous. Okay, we got a quote to build one uh -huh. that was twenty thousand. So you're telling me I can buy the real one that, with the historical and the collective value for uh -huh. only like double the price? No. Well, they're saying fifty to a hundred thousand is conservative. They think it's probably going to go for much higher than. So that. should we bid on this? <laughs> I mean, it's your money. I, that's a fucking awesome thing to own forever. But uh, I would absolutely not want you to sit in. That. Some somebody is probably going to pay like a million dollars for this thing. So yeah, yeah. I, I, I think, think you're. I do think you're right. Yeah. But so the, I guess we got a quote for one. It's twenty thousand. So that's good. that's a bit of a sticker sh shock and. We've sourced it from a few different options, and they are all well. Right, we, we just expensive. recently got a quote for twenty thousand. This is actually the third quote, and they've all been in that ballpark. So it does look like that's around what it costs to make it. That's crazy. Yep. Can't we get a fucking like shitty one? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll talk about it after the show. I mean, we could uh, go back to them and say, "Hey, can we pare this down somehow? Whatever you want to do." But yeah, it, I've, I've had three professional people come back with Get quotes down. in that ballpark. It, I think it just costs that much to do it. People are saying 500000 I can basically garnish your wages if you want to buy that. <laughs> I'll front you the cash. Um, you down. Chill. Are they calling in, by the way? We've been talking with them. Uh, yeah, sometime in uh, March. Fun. Olivia's not here right now. Look forward to that. <laughs> this was nice to see. I'm not familiar with this podcast. Almost Friday. Although, just by the name I alone, I think they would benefit from having Gabe call in. Friday, baby! Yeah. Y'all got a good show called Almost Friday and you never heard of White Claw, Friday, Gabe? Friday, baby, yeah! Come on now. But uh, shout out to this girly. I don't know who she is, but I love her. Um, take a listen, Zach. You're going to love this. I was listening to a podcast yesterday where like, the, uh, they do like audio sound bites. And like, the second someone says something, it's like the perfect audio sound bite. I'm like... I would literally get fired on the first day doing that. How do you get the audio sound by the second something happens? You, you want to answer that, Zach? She's talking about you. <laughs> uh, I'm good at what I do. It's practice. It's years and years of, you know, the muscle memory. You get, you're in the matrix. Yeah. You can read the fucking... You have to... Uh, you can read the feed, man. You have to change your thought the way you think. You got to take the blue... <laughs> Pill. No, the red. Pill. No, the red pill. You gotta take the red pill. Yeah, I'm, I'm deep. I'm deep. Very deep. Yeah. It's like you know, you What's do work mean? hard. You focus yeah. on and something, you and you, pre you prep, prepare. You can't these... prepare knowing. Not... So here's the thing. I can tell she's a fan of the show. These guys are wrong. They have no idea. Right. The mastery that they're she's trying to express, and that's why when I see this, I appreciate her perspective so much because she's right. How do you know what someone's gonna say? Some people are just like talented naturally. Yeah, but they're then that's why they're best for the job. That's, yeah. <laughs> what podcast is this? The guy Ethan Klein, H three. H three. She, I can tell she's almost embarrassed to admit. Yeah. <laughs> but she watches, and we love that for you, girl. You know what I mean? You don't have to hide. You don't have to be a secret. Uh, His viewer. name is Ethan Klein. K L the H three podcast. Uh, it was nice though. It was nice to see some recognition outside uh and within the podcast sphere. I don't know this show. Is this a popular show? They have a, a pretty I follow their meme page. It's called Friday Beers. Um they got some pretty funny meme shit, but other than that I'm not too I'm seeing a lot of people in the chat say that they're fans. Got there you some go. Crossover fans here. There we go. Thank you for the compliment. The show's very so, nice. The show so oh you love Olivia loves them. So shout out. Shout out. Shout out! Shut the fuck out. <sighs> it's right. it's <laughs> um, blah, 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 blah. Frankie update, blah, 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 blah. This dumb fucking psychotic bitch. <laughs> it's easy. What are we... Ruby Frank? What are you talking about? Are you oh. going to defend Ruby Frank? I didn't know what you were talking about. <laughs> but you, you always say you don't. Like well, use that word. I never do. Yeah. Stupid bitch. However, <laughs> however. You reserve it for special occasions. Exactly. Yeah, and yeah. Ruby is a fucking bitch. Yeah, okay. She gets that. <laughs> and nobody's going to be upset because she is. She was Stupid sentenced bitch. with uh, four consecutive one to 15 year terms. Now, what does that mean? One to 15. What are we talking about? 
Is it? How much is it? Uh, Let's so go. I th I could be wrong, but I think in those cases it's like the the charge that they're hit with has that range, and then I think the judge has that discretion of how much is actually issued for each one. Judge, please but correct me if I'm wrong. Well, then four consecutive though. When they say consecutive, it means they're basically lumping it all into one, right? Yeah. That, well, they do it at the no. same time. You're carrying them out at the same time. So does that mean she could potentially no, the get opposite. 60 concurrent, years? Yeah. You're, you're thinking, oh, concurrent. You're thinking concurrent. Consecutive means it would so she, all be laid out in a row. Oh. So she could get 60 years. Uh, it was, yeah. what, it was four? Yeah. It, yeah, potentially up to Oh, that's years. good. So four to 60. Yeah. That's, I want her to die in prison with Keith Ramirez. <laughs> <laughs> she might be a good, she might be a good um, devotee to him, actually. Have, have a good night. I can see that. I can see them. You know, romance is everywhere. Love is love. And we love love. Keith Raniere's and Ruby Frank, I'm rooting for you to, to find each other in prison. Um, and to die there, away from society. Oh, I'm seeing people say in Utah they have a prison board that determines how much you, like a sentencing. A prison lord? Board. <laughs> I was like, what year is it? <laughs> So it's not the judge, the but jail. yeah, it's uh, there's some <laughs> committee or something yeah. determines how long of a sentence you get. <laughs> so that's gonna be four to sixty years. Holy shit! That's a lot. That's a big fucking difference. Right. Can we please that's like a big difference? Four to sixty. They should throw her under the jail. That's <laughs> yeah. like a a brief, but like a an annoying. Oh, and apparently Utah has a thirty year cap. So actually, thir it, it's only up to thirty, according to people in the chat. Mm, thirty year cap. Yeah, <laughs> what cat? What was Cap that, Khaled? Cappuccino. Okay. <laughs> Gotta feel like Al Pacino, like Cappuccino. Somebody on um, Instagram, I saw a meme that said DJ Khaled must be on the spectrum. Yeah. Thoughts? It's so funny. It's possible. I submit that without commentary, and I question, and I ask for thoughts from the audience. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts in the comments. DJ Khaled, is he on the spectrum? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Uh, so let's see. She is fucked. She's got found guilty of six counts of aggravated child abuse. <coughs> Malnourished one. I mean, this is all really cherry stuff. Huh? Should I call? Should I cover the child abuse before or after the horse stuff? Before. Uh, both women pleaded guilty to four counts. Um, Ruby Frank wept as she spoke in court. <laughs> I love that. Tacoma wept. <laughs> Damn. Utah wept. What? Um, I was led to believe this world was an evil place filled with church leaders that lie and molest and children who need abuse. What the fuck? You thought you lived in a world where child need abuse? Huh? Are you sure you're not reading that wrong? I was led, this is what she said. I was led to believe this world was an evil place filled with church leaders that lie and molest and children who need abuse. That's what's written here. And there's no excuse for that. My choice to believe this led to criminal behavior. What the hell? Jody Hildebrandt was never my business partner. She was my son's counselor. Oh, stop. You guys had a fucking podcast together. Frankie calls her children, and now her ex-husband, Kevin, the loves of her life. Oh, please. Anyway, ta-ta. We're done with you. I feel for the family, though. I hope they, I wish them, you know, healing and, and happy years. Now that the bitch is gone. That's right, Frankie. I said it. Bet you have nothing! I said that shit. Um, let's not do this one. Let's... Dude, we gotta still do Jimmy Lee on the tiger belly. No, we really don't. We don't have to do it. Bro, this is like the culmination of like years of planning. This is... I've been... Yeah, and he blew it, dude. Well, he was on the show. He blew it. He made it. All right, let's do Jordan Lee Peterson just to make sure we, we actually get to it. Yes. So Jordan Lee Peterson, um, we've talked about him a bit. <laughs> Jesse. Je oh, fucking hell. 
My maternal grandmother. You okay? So tell me, are you gay? Imagine a conversation between those two, though. Jesse Lee <sighs> Peterson. I've talked about him a bit. I've been captivated. Peterson on Peterson. <laughs> P and P. P and P. P and P. P and P. Um. Let's make that happen. I've long been captivated by him. He is a outrageous conservative uh, pundit and interviewer, and his worldviews are horrendous <laughs> and offensive. However, the way he conducts himself is phenomenal. <laughs> his his and he does an interview with Hassan. He did an interview with um, Destiny. He did an interview with a few other YouTube. Political people, or who he's done a lot with other YouTubers. Jane, just, yeah, yeah. Jake, Jake, Jake went on there once, yep. um, and then just a, uh, there was one that we watched a long time ago. The pastor, where, yeah. Well, who was gay, right? Yeah, he says, when, when do you, yeah, what did, what did you say, Zach? You were gay? You Have were you gay? <laughs> I didn't know you were gay. <laughs> Does God know you're gay? Does God know you're gay? You don't look who, gay. Who would who would think to ask that? <laughs> you think that God made you gay? Like his his brain is such an interesting thing to be studied. <laughs> so um, are you gonna be like gay all your life, or with this past? So I look forward to talking to him. And, and like, uh, but here is a clip he found out about um, oral sex recently on Still the show. Oh, he did one with Vouch. I'm I'm seeing people say. Oh, I actually haven't seen that one. Yeah. <laughs> That, now he should get him back on there to ask him about yeah. it. Yeah. I'm also seeing that he did, in fact, talk to Jordan Peterson, too. At one Yo! Yeah, oh, so. shit. Yeah. No way. I think, I think people go on his show not because it has this... Not, for no other reason than they just think it's so funny and interesting to sit down with this guy. Like, there's no cons discernible reason why this dude... He doesn't say anything that's original or interesting. I mean, he's just funny as hell. Yep. Here he is talking about oral sex. Um, so we had a women's forum last night, and one of the things that came up, we talked about a whole bunch of stuff. The ladies brought up, that I, you know how we were talking about oral sex on the radio? <laughs> and I was saying that men should not be doing that because it's like eating out of a trash can. Oh, yeah. Right. We can't forget. And, and you, I'll never forget that. You have the dirt <laughs> coming out, blood, like other people's sex stuff. Yeah. The dirt disease. coming out. <laughs> y'all eat it out. Well, not y'all, but y'all men are doing that, and it's gross. Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. The ladies said that. <laughs> the ladies said that to help women, I need to mention that a lot of women are now doing uh, oral sex to men, but not oral. Do they call them oral sex men stuff when the women do it to the men? Yeah, yeah, either way. I, think I mean, just to, just, get to, a, just take it all in. Jesus Christ. It's the Jesse Lee Peterson experience. And I don't know even where he found these three goons, but what are they? What are, are they there? fully on board with everything he's saying? Oh, it's, yeah. These guys, these guys are great. <laughs> God damn. They're great. They are great. Other I, things, too. But <laughs> I had to correct you. It's not now doing. This is not now doing. This has been around oh, a for while. a long time. Oh, oh. <laughs> and so I was, oh. and so I asked the ladies, were there many? This is not new. I mean, shit, pro people have been sucking dick probably since <laughs> we we you know even before we got the plow. I mean, what you the fuck? Gay? Yeah, you know. <laughs> the women that knew about this, and I Most was stunned guys. at the answer. I I thought it was like a slut thing. Jesus, man. There's a lot of sluts out there. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know normal. So he's agreeing that if you do fillet your, your uh, significant other, that you're a slut? That's horrible. Dude, do you not? Okay, so at least, because at first it seemed like he was pleading ignorance about the entire thing. Like, <laughs> I've just never heard of that before. But now he's saying he just thinks it's a slut thing. It's mm -hmm. a slut thing. Okay, got it. That's at least a little more believable. So Jordan, okay, so th this this begs a few questions of Jesse. Has some, no one ever offered to do that for him? Have they offered and he said no? These would be good questions for tomorrow. Actually. Right. Can yeah. somebody jot these down? <laughs> yeah, I got it. You got it? So are you going to be like gay all your life or with this pass? <laughs> this too shall pass, being gay. Women did that to men. Most, most most women are sluts these days. Bro, do you not want a blowjob? Who are you? <laughs> That's gay as fuck, bro. <laughs>
What are you talking about? Beta. What the hell? Here's four supposed alpha dudes just circle jerking about how women sh should Beta. perform oral sex because they're slut. Like, what? <laughs> what kind of world do you want to live in exactly? <laughs> to uh, multiply. And y'all knew that normal women were doing that to men as, as men are doing that to women? Yeah, I thought, yeah. I thought it was normal. Yeah, in high yeah. school, they would say... Like, well, not in high school, but some of my high school friends would say, they'll say, they would say, I'm Christian, I won't have sex with you, but I will that. What are they, what's the name for it? Well, there's various <laughs> names. No shot. He's this, <laughs> is he really this silly? <laughs> By the way, this is from three years ago. This isn't new. Yeah. I haven't seen it. But, uh, is there a decent kind of, name that we can mention on the no. radio? Oh, there's not well, a decent just, name. I mean, you already mentioned just or, yeah, oral sex. Oral like, sex. Yeah. Using your mouth. Most basic. Oh, it's the same. You can't say blowjob? What, what are they doing radio? This is this is probably like a conservative Christian. We don't. Nation, we, so. we can't talk about blowjobs over here on <laughs> but, but conservative they are, radio. In, you know. All I want to talk about is when those sluts put a penis in their mouth. <laughs> right. And so, have you been with men? I have not. You a gay? They, I am not. How did you become gay? I'm not gay. Uh, 15%. I'll hit gay. him with that. That might blow his mind. Mm. I'm 15% gay, sir. Really? That's my When a woman doing it to a man right. called Orsa? Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's not specific to oh, either, I got you. either or. It's... I didn't know it was so popular. I, th I didn't know... <laughs> Normal women do it. I knew sluts do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, when I was growing up, that was unheard of for black people. No shot. People. Now, I remember... In the South, <laughs> not in the city. Yeah, yeah. The well, city had to be different. Scandalous. With the blacks. I bet. Most. I bet most, you do bet. Most people. I bet. Because <laughs> the cities are so degenerate. Oh. Dude, what the fuck? The cities are so degenerate. There's, yeah, they still dick in the city. <laughs> The culture is really the is really falling apart. There's sluts sucking dicks in the city. <laughs> when he calls in, you got to ask him about eating ass. If he's familiar with that, if he's ever heard of it, is right. that mentioned coming up? No, no, you got to ask That's him about. My it. <laughs> just not connected, just because it's a sex act that would blow his mind. Yeah. Okay, that's a good idea. Write that. Writing it down. I remember when I was a teenager, my uncles used to go during the summer. They would go to Florida to work in the orange fields or whatever they did, or New York. And they would come back and they would talk about how white people were doing that kind of stuff. And we were all kind of laugh about it. Oh, white people nasty. <laughs> nasty, who would want a beautiful woman to suck their dick? <laughs> it's crazy. I'm being a little uncouth, but <laughs> it sounds a little silly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah because it was unheard of. And no, right. no way a black woman would do that or let that be done to her, and no way a black man would do that. Now it's the thing to do. Yes. That is so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and lady, what? I would say it's a perversion. I think these that guys would so really benefit from, from a woman's voice. <laughs> that is so crazy. Can we get a gal in there? You know? Now it's uh, the thing to do. That's where I think he got this information. He said at the beginning they had like a women's uh, seminar mm -hmm. or something. Oh no, that's can only imagine how that. <laughs> that sent well, them see the all. recording of that. That sent them all into orbit. Yeah, talked to a woman and their whole day got ruined. <laughs> so the, I mean, do the, we believe him? I like, I feel do. like he's lying. I think he about his ignorance of all. I of choose that. to believe him. Yeah, he, I want to believe Maybe. he's real as a character. In my head. <laughs> well, he's still a character either way. Like, still a weird guy who would go on the radio and lie about that. I want to ask him if he's a character, A.B. Okay. Jesse wants to know if his co-host thinks it's gross for a woman to give oral. Stomach hurt. It's so gross. Uh-huh. I, I don't want to ask you guys, have you ever had that done? But <laughs> isn't You that... never? Wait. It... Come on. He has kids. Yeah, this is a whole foreign concept to him. He has That's kids. The way he's acting. I think. Uh, no, I'm just stunned that you're gay. I didn't know that. I didn't read it. <laughs> wow. That's such a sad life. Or just that depraved. That is so crazy. Isn't that gross for a woman to do that to a man? You, I don't know how you trust them. 
I know. The man trusts them to do what? what? Not bite, <laughs> off bite it cup? off? <laughs> what are you ah! doing to your poor girlfriend, you freak? Dude, the guy on the bottom red, r r right is such a creepy Yeah, he is. Fucker. It's the haircut, like, yeah. over the forehead. Is he the one that out. said that? Yeah. That was the top so. right guy, I thought. It was the top right guy? Well, woman These guys are all man. freaks, for sure. I, you, I don't know how you trust them. Uh, Bro, what are you saying? That's, a, that's like a self-report a little bit, right? I don't trust <laughs> my wife to not bite my dick off. <laughs> That's crazy there. I mean, no, she should want to do it, right? Right. That's the idea. Is that yeah, of she, course. You're not, it's not like a forced act, right? Because that's rape. I don't know. It's not, I don't know if he knows that. It's supposed to be a consensual act. That is so crazy. He, uh, Jesse's been, he has one son. He's been engaged twice, but never married. And the man's never had a BJ. Huh. I got to ask him about, is this that? Maybe. I can't believe this. This is amazing. <laughs> no, the man could, could be diseased, could just finish with another woman, could Gestated. be smelly after work. What does that mean? Like he has a yeast infection in his dick? What does that mean? <laughs> oh, God. Do you not shower? <laughs> soap and water, right? Oh. We do that. Um, we, like, we like to soap and water. We clean the penis. We like to clean. But yeah, you know what I'm saying. I think growing up, it was never a second thought whether you, whether it was bad or not. You just kind of knew that that's what was going on. You never really questioned whether, oh, she's this or that. he, especially if it's in a relationship. Because even people do it who are married now. This is like the explaining basic concepts to grandpa podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next, well, we're going to be teaching him how to check his Except AOL the people, account. The people doing the teaching also know absolutely fucking nothing. I love them. They're phenomenal. Um, Jesse wants to know if old people do it, too. Okay, so he's getting interested. All right. What's the his age? Wise people. He Very is 74. Oh, shit. He looks really good. Oh, my God. Yeah. He's 74? Mm-hmm. Okay, so he's definitely asking for himself. Oh my God, he looks amazing, doesn't he? For his age? Yeah. I would have thought he's like... Hmm. No, he looks like he's in his 60s. 60s maybe, yeah. Amazing. Isn't it crazy how like... This was three years ago too. He looks the same now. Yeah. He's aging like... Hmm. Beautiful. <laughs> it was just... Aging like yeast at the tip of a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to be sucked off. Just a Sorry, I know it's gross, but I yeah, I, you know, this, this, this is what we're doing here. This is this part of the show. Yeah. Do old people, old women, do that to old men too? How the fuck would they know that? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, My generation. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe some of them. Like me, like a 74 year old. <laughs> Do you know anyone? Do you know anyone? Suck off a 74-year-old man. <coughs> <laughs> what would we know? <laughs> Stuff like that. Ladies, don't do that. Let me just say don't to the ladies. Don't do that. Do not. To the zero ladies watching. A little advice. That. A little advice <laughs> on how to keep your man. <laughs> um, Jesse asks about women climaxing he didn't know women can orgasm. And then one woman brought up, well, shocking. It's part of making a woman climaxing. That's the word. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. the word. Any woman that climaxing. You guys notice that hand? That's right. Yeah, right what, what was that? What was that? What do you, What do you think um, <laughs> sex is? <laughs> what the fuck? What is the scoop in the swirling action? <laughs> You're not trying to get that whole thing in there, are you? <laughs> Shit. Part of making a woman climax, and that's the word. Scoop, yeah. right? Boom. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> what the hell, dude? That was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> that is the most. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> that was I crazy, watch it again. dude. You want to see it again? Yeah. Woman <laughs> climax, and that's the word. Yeah, right. <laughs> Any woman that climaxes, y'all, nobody's gonna say anything about that. <laughs> climax, and that's the word. Yeah, right. 
Any woman that's climaxing, that's the right word, right, Jay? That's the I right know word, you right? know you're Shut virgin. Up. He's so <laughs> lying, dude. At least about this. But why would he lie about this? It makes him look like such a loser. He's trying because he's ple he's trying to project an air of like uh, innocence, which is completely fucking innocence. phony. Oh, uh, what is it? A woman climaxes? Is that the word? Shut up! But why would he open? You're seventy-four. You like you don't know the word climax? Like what are you talking about? But why would he openly admit that he's never made a woman? Because like in their okay. fucking weird twisted world, it's like that's like that's a dub, <laughs> dude. That's literally a dub, dude. Your that. wife's never yeah. come. Dub, dab me up, bro. Yeah, because that's evil and sinful. You know what I mean? It's just like I they're thought sex so, was like, fine if you're doing it for procreate. Huh? If you're procreating, sex is fine, even for the religious people, isn't it? For most, yeah, but I, this he's not most people, let's be real. Bob didn't he's say nothing special, about... He's a special case. The Bob didn't say nothing about sucking dick, though. <laughs> Virgin don't know anything. <laughs> <laughs> Any woman that's climaxing, climaxing is becoming a man, because it's not normal for women to do that. So this, this, <laughs> is, this is such a Jesse... Take, this is why I love him. His <laughs> mind is on another plane. Nobody would ever put those words together. Right. I think it's a, I think it's a lie. I don't think they do that. <laughs> oh, oh, you don't think they do? No. You think That's that creepy pretending? motherfucker yeah. again. Really? Yeah. That could be Yeah, no, they're lying. <laughs> Dude. Y'all are really saying and doing these things and putting it on, and it's been three years and y'all left this up. <laughs> Let me see the comments. People are calling him out. Imagine admitting publicly that you have never <laughs> and cannot please a woman. That's what I don't understand. I can't believe this is real. There's no excuse as an adult male for not knowing that female orgasms do. In fact, these just feel so bad for the women in their lives. Jesus <laughs> criminy, dude. <laughs> dude. You think when women act like they're doing that, they're lying? Oops. Uh, I never thought about it, but you you never know. Yeah, because they would be making a man think he's really doing an amazing job. <laughs> yeah, I think they, I think it feels good, but uh, yeah, the, the <laughs> climaxing part, I'm not so sure about that. Why? Yeah, well, we don't let, I, I don't know if y'all doing him. it. Who is this guy? I don't know, he's the weirdest of the bunch. No, I gotta, I gotta find out. Is there more info about him? No, I could look into yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, maybe in the description, it might say who his, uh, <laughs> I really want to talk to him. <laughs> Man, what a weird dude. That's a strange man right there. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> that or not, but don't even try. Because if it were natural, you'd naturally do it. But the fact you're trying to make something happen, you're becoming a man. The man is turning you into a man. A fake man, not but a right man. Kind of man. <laughs> right, not a real man. A drag queen man. Perversion. Yeah. So it's ladies. Generous. Yeah, and, and I mean, just I'm fair warning, he's ladies... super offensive on like trans and LGBT stuff. Everything. Yeah. Just very, everything. very offensive. Just yeah. fair warning. It's just like he's weirdly like non-threatening because he's just is so like feeble and stupid. True. You yes, know what I mean? Like, true. He is very non-threatening. <laughs> And he's, he's saying abhorrent stuff all the time, but I don't know why it's just funny when he says it as opposed to like actually offensive. And he's like laughing when he does it, so it's like, is he, I think maybe he's kidding. What'd you just get delivered, love? I don't really know. It's a uh, coated popcorn, caramel popcorn. Oh, Cracker Jack. Oh, is that Cracker Jack? Oh, oh you're gonna love delivered love. You're gonna love Cracker Jack. Live on air, a bag that. of Cracker Jack. Like, yeah, this, That's is a, American, this is an American is fuck snack. That's the traditional snack at a baseball game. Yeah, that's what everybody wow. has baseball. And okay. Love is a popcorn enjoyer. Yeah. Oh, I like that a lot. That's not just normal caramel. No, I that's a Cracker bit. Jack, my friend. Wow. That's yummy. Cracker Jacks and apple pie. That's America. You're gay? We gotta mix this with like, women orgasming is a myth. You're gay? <laughs> All right, cut it. Brought it to my attention so that I can warn the ladies not to do that. That is sinking low as low can go. And no man, because if you're doing that to your boyfriend, living or your husband, the guy's going to believe you're doing it elsewhere too. That is low. Don't do it, ladies. All right. If a man want you to do that, go home. Just say, no, no, thank you. I'm out of here, you dirty man.
You dirty but man. Okay. It should like go without saying that you don't even have to say that. You know what I mean? Well, if you think if if a, you know we because talked about it. This dude hasn't talked a lot, but he's really weird too. Yeah. And he has a voice. We pointed this out as we watched a short clip of him. But he talks like a um, very strange kind of guy. Got like a weird dialect. Oh, go ahead. Because that woman who Here. called you your show yesterday, saying, "Oh, I know you always talk down about the women, and men, women shouldn't remarry, but the men can do oh, whatever they want." He does this thing. I've okay. I've known people like this. They don't open their mouth a lot when yeah. they talk. He kind of talks like this. Yeah. Let's take a look. Look at his. Look at the space. He doesn't allow a lot of space. I wonder if this is, says something about his personality, that he's closed off. He's got his walls up. He doesn't and want, he doesn't want to, he's not sucking dick. Yeah, he doesn't want a dick in there. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> not sneaking no dick in my mouth. <laughs> I can't really. wait. Keeping it nice and tight. in my mouth. Nope. Yeah, so, nope. You ain't getting in there. You know, it's like, um, <laughs> take a look at this. Wait a minute. Oh, this is, this is the fellatio defense. <laughs> Today, <laughs> saying, oh, I know you always talk <laughs> down about the women. And men, women shouldn't remarry, but the men can do whatever they want. But wow. you never say that. I and know. If I anything, men, you I say the mean. opposite. <laughs> right. And what you say to the men also applies to the women. Absolutely. That's true. Really he is does. more consistent than um, the likes of Andrew Tate and, um, and uh, like, Fresh and Fit and stuff. Because, like, their weird sexual repression is for both. For both men and women. Yes. You know? we, we believe everybody should miss be should, Yeah. Suck a little bit of dick. God wants us. I got a dog. I got oh a yeah, dog. you get you get a little prize. A little dog tattoo. Fantastic. That's fantastic, love. Why Thank don't you guys. put it on? Put it on? Yeah. Let's Where? put it on. Maybe my microphone. No, you gotta put on a tattoo. Oh, it's a sticker. Oh, I thought you said it's a tattoo. Well, it's kind of the same thing. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Good time. Two distinct and different things. Yeah. The yeah, tattoo are. you do it with water, yeah. stays on. I agree. It is a different thing. But it, yeah, no, it's different. So that's it. That was just the Vosh thing. Is there? There's a really great moment. Maybe just. Or, or I mean, the Jordan fucking uh, Jesse, goddamn Jesse. Jesse Lee ass. Yeah, Jackson. Is there um a good moment that we can use to prime the people for tomorrow of his interview with one of these YouTubers I mentioned? Well, there was some more stuff in the dog, or was it all from that one? That's page? everything. Yeah. Oh. Well, I mean, we've talked about him in the past. We just uh, we just didn't want to go into it having not talked about him in a while. So I yeah. think, uh, I think that, that was a good little refresher, yeah. That's right. Lube up at the gears. Change the oil. Do you want to ask him what he meant by the... Uh, I would up? like to. Okay. Can we cut that? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think that happens in some capacity? This is how he, um, so I know this is so vulgar and I'm sorry, I hate talking like this, but this is how he, I was thinking the same thing. Can I say finger? Yeah. It's so gross. Just, I'm sorry to say that. It's just too vulgar, but this is how he fingers a girl. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh maybe it's God. interesting motion. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe he's onto something. Right. No, he's not. He's never made a woman come in his whole life. Right. It's like a, it's like a magic trick. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of like. Uh, Captain Jack Sparrow type thing. <laughs> right. And now you are turned off forever. <laughs> I will deactivate your vagina forever. <laughs> Interesting, dude. All right, now that we've talked about that, we've t we got to do. Y'all want? All right, I know a lot of people say I'm over Vosh, so let's just really test. Where your minds and hearts are at. Oh uh, boy. Yeah, I know. Let's do a poll. Bevo, what? which the people love and demand. The massive update, piles on piles of Bevo oh, yeah. updates. Bevo and Butthead. He's kind of like he straight up looks like he is Butthead <laughs> in real yeah. life. But I just realized, Cam, can you do him next to Butthead? On it once. Holy yeah. shit, dude! That's him. That's him. <gasps> uh, but you guys want to hear about Bevo or you want to hear my response to Vash? Um, and I believe we'll have time to get to both, so... Fret. I think that if you have an interest in that sort of stuff, you should definitely be checking yourselves to why. 
Absolutely. That is definitely the advice I would offer. I think it's pretty sussy. It is. Um, so let's, is there someone setting up the poll? Oh, you got it, A.B. I can, yeah, I forgot, Dan got up to go to the bathroom. Yeah, I just, I made the poll. Thank you, A.B. No pressure. No, it's a good poll. What to talk about first. Uh, That's okay. okay. I'm learning. Here's the thing. Like I said, we'll get to both. Fret not, my dear friends. It's pretty close, but the people are really want to hear about Bevo. 58% is in favor of Bevo and Butthead. Wow. 6,000 votes. It's, it, it's closing on, though. It's 56% to 44% now. How to pussy dad. You know what? Jesse needs to learn from M.R. How to please a woman. Mm-hmm. He's slaying pussy. He's the pussy whisperer. Yeah. They did some sort of collab. I don't know if we... Did we end up talking about it on the show? Yeah, they danced together. Yeah, they danced together. Who? Bevo and... Um... Oh, shit, I did see that. We got... Well, hold on, pull that, pull that. They're like the um the UK memes right now. They All the memes came together. They share a special moment. All right, Bevo is, is edging ahead by a bit. It's 55% Bevo. So here's what, I'm going to go to the bathroom real fast. And when I come back, we'll do Bevo and we'll do Vosh. I know some of y'all are tired, so we're going to do that last. But I will say this about Vosh. I'll try to keep it brief. However, I have new receipts. New receipts. Get the fuck out. Uh-oh. Dude, there's one I showed you guys last night that literally... <laughs> My jaw was on the floor. You're talking about the Discord messages? Yes. Yes, that was the one where he insane. goes, We, 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 <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, man, my jaw was like, Ugh. Well, huh? I don't want to jump to conclusions. Like, this is, ugh, wow. And I don't, okay, I'm going to go to the bathroom and we'll come back. We got so much to talk about, guys. So much. Um, being that uh, Sam brought up her eye surgery, it made me. It reminded me that I wanted to ask you guys about something. If any of you guys are familiar with a procedure called orbital decompression. Uh, this is something that I've been looking into for a while. I've been wanting to get. Uh, it's a surgery for my eyes. It's not for cosmetic reasons. My eyes drive me insane. They always have my whole life. When I sleep, my eyes, my lids don't completely cover my eyes. And every day there's just different fucking issues with my eyes. So it's a little scary from my understanding they go they like increase the room in your socket so that your eyeballs go a little bit further back and that would allow the lids to come down. Anyways, I'm terrified because it has to do with my eyes. <clears throat> so if anyone's familiar, send me send me information or let me know. Thank you, God bless. When are you thinking about doing that? Uh, so I talked to a doctor and they have dates in May. Wow. Yeah, so I don't know. If you wanna do it, happy for you. Thank you. Absolutely. If it wasn't my eyes, I wouldn't be so scared, but just because it's my eyes. But it would change my life because my eyes drive me insane. They always have. I bet they're always dry. Always. Yeah, yeah. always. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ouch. I can't even do my laundry because, like, just the particles from the dryer, like, Ooh. they get in my eyes. So I have to put, like, goggles on when I do the laundry. Yeah. Yo, laundry goggles. Yes. Um... Anyways, thank you guys. That being said, I'm trying to find the donations. Love, do you have any? Drop the track selector! Zach Lewis live at the Echo Black, man. Jiggy wicked slam. Lick up me Talawat and pan it long. If you're looking for your one minute, man, god damn, she get it wrong. Big bomber class before busting on me head. A sexy girl says she want to give me head. When me fuck pussy, pussy turn red. Gymnastic, no the pussy dead. When me day a poor more down on Agazet. West Cumberland, Waterford, Tree West. Wake up in the morning, you know what's up, me bless. Smoke so much weed, them think I'm not eat red. Beautiful. That was a beautiful performance, Dan. Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Now the pussy did. Yeah, chat again, not for cosmetic reasons. I do not, I'm actually afraid of that aspect, but 
You need your you need your eyes. You know why? Why? You gotta see Zach Lewis live at the Echo Plex. That's right. That's exactly why. <laughs> That's I'm not worried about ever seeing my wife again or just seeing my <laughs> nieces or nephews. I just thought of just hearing Zach and not seeing uh, his where? performance. Where? Live at whatever the fuck you just said. Where where the is Echo Plex, yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly. That would kill me. <sighs> How's everyone doing? How's everyone doing today? Horrible. Oh, Dan is I'm stepping in. All right, tired, go. dude. <laughs> I'm very tired. You tired? Why? Why are you so tired? I'm Why are you so tired. sleepy? I'm I'm eepy, as oh, Lom would put it. Yeah, I say eepy. I'm I'm not that eepy today, though. I gotta say. I'm I tired. I feel pretty energized. It's the rain. I just I don't, I don't know. I'm feeling so hot. Not I'm sick, sorry about that, but brother. you know. <sighs> Anybody see that movie, The Holdovers? Oh. Yeah. You said you loved it, right? It was very loved funny. it. Absolutely love it. Got big G money. Oh big God. G money. Oh. Dan. I've been rocking it today. I was like, yo, who made that? It looks sick. I was like, oh my God, we did it. You is you. It looks fluffy and soft. It's very nice. Did you know that it's you very could... warm because it's uh pretty cold in here. Did you know that you could if you went on the store teddyfresh.com and bought it, it would be there would be free shipping. Oh wow. That's wow. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Um, guys, we're about to go off the rails. Uh oh. About to? Oh, you didn't have to touch <laughs> yeah. that. Oh, Sam. Sorry. Sam is being very helpful. You're that fucked up, huh? Um, yeah, I feel, I'm You know, we're supposed work. to do another episode tomorrow. Maybe we should do kind of a short one today. Uh, listen, I'm going to do. You're like actually sick. Vosh, I'm going to do Bevo. I am. That's the thing is like, whenever I get sick, I. I have the worst job for being having a sore throat or congestion. Yeah. Because I'll come and I'll talk for like four hours straight. Which right. When I'm at home, I'm like, I can't. I'm not talking. I'm whispering because it, it's uh, painful and making everything worse. So I have the worst job for it. But that being said, I, uh, I do want to be here, and thanks to modern medicine, I can. <laughs> this is uh, Ed. Does DayQuil zoink you out? Huh? Do you get zoinked on DayQuil? Yes, we've had this conversation many times. You've so gotten you, zoinked on the show on You've Dayquil. gotten zoinked on DayQuil? From DayQuil? I thought only NyQuil gets you zoinked. No. Dayquil too. Our, DayQuil arguably more because it's got the it shit in it to keep you yeah. up. But does it make you drowsy? No. Yeah, it's the opposite. What's the one that out. zoinks you? Well, they um, both... Nyquil. There's Tylenol, mean? which is whatever. Fight. It says, didn't we read like you Fight. can't operate heavy machinery on it? Yeah, like that, exactly. Dextromethylformin mm -hmm. and felinifrine. Fight. I know that Gestafus and whatever is just an expectorant. That's nothing. Fight. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> Cheers, my dude. Cheers, my dude. Ah, oh, that tastes bad. I think Nyquil and Dayquil are like the worst tastes in the world. I was Pretty hitting the muc. Down. I was. Just, like beef jerky. Thank you so much. Mucinex, mm. nighttime. Mm -hmm. It tasted good. Oh, I didn't even huh. mind it. It was like blueberry. It was watery because mm. this shit's like syrupy. Mm -hmm. It's so vile. Yeah. Or uh, Delsum. That one was my favorite growing up. Uh oh. It was delicious. I meant to mention this earlier, but Mucinex. Um, if your sinuses are clogged, has like a miracle sinus uh, spray. For I those. like that. Oh, I like Mucinex. I fuck with it. You got to get their sinus, sinus spray. You don't have to do the... You don't have to breathe in. You just <laughs> slam it. Zach, can we grab Jake Paul saying free shipping from his um, Christmas merch song? Free shipping, y'all. Sure. It might even be in there. In like the depths of the You know, I was looking for it. I yeah. thought I had it, but yeah. it, it's not. Wow. Well, that would actually would have been great because that would have been like a seven-year-old... Yeah, we yeah, did have it at one point. I you guys, that's the only Jake Paul thing. Fuck you guys, work. yeah, especially um, Dan, <laughs> Ian, and Zach, not because you guys were like basically like day one employees. We've been doing this for a long time. Yeah, <laughs> fucking hey, <A>, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's like six years. Six we plus. might be able, to, but I I think it would be fantastic if we can just keep going, like you know. Yeah, me too. Yeah. We got to hit 10. Mm. We're so close.
More than 10. Okay. 20 years? Can we do this show for 20 years? Jesus. With the button, there's know. no stopping us. <laughs> I feel like what? that's up to you, though. Ugh. You guys are on board. I mean, it's your show. You guys yeah. are with me? Yeah. I'm here for the long run. Yeah. Like, yeah. This is I'm, the sweetest conversation We're in ever. it, dude. I'm in it, too. Yeah. I'm in it. I'm okay. in it with you guys. In right it. on. In it. In it. So we could do 20 years? That's crazy. Yeah. Don't say That's that. That's like a dynasty. Why don't say that? Because it's just a long time, dude. Well, so we've been long going like time. seven. Uh-huh. So in another 13 years, that'll be... Th <laughs> yeah. 13 years, I'll be... Um, 51. Holy fuck. No. For real? Yeah, something like That's that, right? That's fucked up, dude. I'll be in my 50s in 13 years? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're almost 40. <laughs> Don't say that again. I think we need. We all need to... Oh, clip that. Dan just said yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It, uh, um, I think we all need to move to the valley. <laughs> what is that going to do? I don't know. It's valley, dude. It's it's just because you don't, you don't want to commute? <laughs> I don't, it's not that. I just like the valley. At some point, we should all go, get houses and in a little circle, and we should have the podcast <gasps> in the middle. Mm. Like Mr. Beast. Yeah. I <laughs> like Mr. Beast. There, yeah. are, <laughs> there are, I've seen little communities like that in LA where they sure. get a huge plot and they build like a tiny little HOA. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's plenty of cults in LA. I've seen them in, <laughs> yeah. in the valley. Yeah, there's so many. I'll do, yeah, I'll do like Mr. Beast. I'll house you guys, and then so you can never leave. Yeah, you can buy wow. me a house. Sure. I would love that. Yeah. Like an indentured servitude kind of thing. Yes. <laughs> situation. I'll I'll buy you. I'll build a whole little right community. On. Clout house. But then when you start acting up, I'll be like, Dan, I'm gonna fuck. I could kick you out on the street. Right. <laughs> yeah. So that's a that's a power lever that I'll enjoy. Yeah. You could also I like, need to get out of the street. You could like remove things from his house, like furniture, his bed. Maybe. Technically, mm -hmm. I own the house. Yeah. Right. <laughs> So I could go in there and just take a sofa. Yeah, you could say right. either you move out or you I take your bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, easy. Yeah, the H three commune. That's where a thrust actually works. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah we've, we've already established, established one. Yeah. yeah. Mm, we love that. You think people would move if we did an H three commune and start try to start a cult? I think some people would come. I don't know how many. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. they would. They would. What would I have to tell them to do the cult, to build the cult thing? Because they need to be like, I need to be like a messenger of God. You gotta say end times is coming, dude. End times, okay. End mm -hmm. times. Just say here's the address, and that's it. You're good. Laid. But I need levers of power. That's what makes a good cult leader. Mm -hmm. The podcast <laughs> profit. Free shipping, y'all. Yeah. Hey. Free shipping. Like leverage the free shipping. That's hey, important. um, <laughs> um, TeddyFresh.com. If y'all go there. Free shipping, y'all. <laughs> that is exciting. That is exciting. Is that really him? Shout out to uh, Blizzard Wolfie for sending me that. Oh, shout out. The Wolf. The Wolf. Send in the Wolf. You Who? calling the Wolf? Who? See, that's really bad for my voice. Yeah, don't Free do that. shipping, y'all. <laughs> is that really Jake? I think he sounds yeah, bro. deeper than usual there. I miss <laughs> that age of YouTube, man. That was You sent in the Wolf? <laughs> it was him. It was Logan Paul doing the... I'm near fan... Uh, what was this song with the little kid? Um, uh, everyone, everyone needs a hero. Everyone needs yeah, a yeah, hero. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. When he did the fuck, he goddamn green screen keyed out Martin Luther King Jr. doing I Have a Dream speech in the pool. Behind the kid. Classic. In the pool, right? In the pool. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm not saying you're MLK, but I'm not saying you're not. That was his <laughs> that was his line, I think. Yep. Viner invasion. It was a beautiful time. Can we watch that? No, no I get, I get we it. need to talk about Bevo. I got to get you on the rails. We got to talk about Bevo right now. We got to talk about Bevo. He's in it's, the title. It's such a good story. But I want to watch that. It's just that like we've watched it a million <laughs> times, bro. We haven't watched it in years. We've been doing that this is not for true. You probably You've probably watched it once a year since I worked here, at least. Can you just, okay, here. Somebody, somebody out there in the audience, make that compilation. We watched it, I think, six months ago. No shot. We did it at the. No we we sang along to it at the not this member stream, but the one prior. We were <laughs> Dude, okay, Dan, I, I think you were maybe gone when I had this revelation. Bevo is butthead in real life. <sighs> he is butthead. Yeah. <laughs> That's him. <laughs> and then show me like the butthead animated one here. Sure, yeah, you can compare. That's quite good. Hey, Bevo. Like I don't think I've ever seen a person at IRL that looks more like butthead. Yeah. I see Mr. Beast. 
You think Mr. Beast is butthead? No, no, no. I think Mr. Beast is Bevo. Yeah. It's like he's an evil twin. Oh, they yeah, interesting. Wow. That's close though. Yeah, that's, that's pretty crazy. good. Crazy. Yeah. No, I think you got onto something there. <laughs> that's awesome. Butthead would do get up and all that kind of shit too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, gonna start a YouTube gonna... channel and uh, swallow everything in one bite. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Check it out. Uh, they're fighting in the ring. <laughs> yeah, dude. I can't believe we're doing this. It's Call so cringy. Thing, dumbass. It's been long enough, I guess, but when that show was popular, everyone was doing Beavis yeah, and Butthead impressions. Yeah. Olivia, do you even know about this show? Are yeah, you... my dad loved Beavis and Butthead. He had like slippers. One was Beavis, one was Butthead. Oh, nice. I need those. <laughs> he probably still has them. I could ask him. Honestly. Ask him. What size shoe does he wear? Ask him. Uh, I don't know. Like maybe 10. Oh, I'm a 13. I won't fit. Uh, I was lying. I made it up. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, jeez. Don't bother. <laughs> Jesus. Freak. Oh, my God. <laughs> Chill out. <laughs> Brutal. It's very nice, but you know. Yeah. Don't even <laughs> bother. All right, let's get into the beva the <laughs> beavonomics it. of this. Let's do it. I'm starting I'm starting a new um undergrad uh discipline course, uh be beavonomics. Mm -hmm. You can come get a degree. Let's I want a master's. We're working on rolling out the PhD program now. Nice. All right, so last time we checked on Bevo. He had this girlfriend who I've loved from the beginning, and I've always had nothing but nice things to say about her. She seems very nice, very grounded, and they seem to have a very wholesome and nice relationship. And I, when I looked at Bevo, one of the things that endeared him to me is that he was in this nice, healthy-seeming relationship based on mutual respect and understanding. Mm -hmm. So we learned that Bevo actually had a moment of weakness in the club with her best friend or friend, Sh Sydney. No, Sydney's Sh Cheyenne. Cheyenne. Yeah, and they're besties. You can say besties. So Sydney's his original yeah. girlfriend, OG. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. And Cheyenne is the, um, she's the middle girlfriend. She's the bestie. MG. MG. Middle. Yeah. Because there's another new one. There's a third one now. Yep. This dude is changing fucking women more often than he's changing his damn, um, his uh, veneers. <laughs> I've seen him, and he, yeah. that's not a joke. He's changed them like five times. Every time he reaches a new level of fame, he upgrades his teeth. <laughs> yeah. He just got new uh, ones from Turkey. Did he really? Yeah. It's Again? A, it's in the dock, don't you worry. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. I saw him in an instant. Oh, he's <laughs> big cell. He looks great. Right. He looks great. Did you guys ever find the one where he's like, I've never seen more natural looking teeth, and they look like straight up chiclets? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I don't know why we couldn't ever find that one. No, I don't think we've seen so that. you want some fucking teeth? He wants your fucking teeth? Um, so he had a moment of weakness with her best friend, Cheyenne, in which they were caught on video flirting Red and Red-handed, dude. So disappointing. That broke our collective hearts. Mm -hmm. After that, all was settled. Bevo left Cheyenne and went back with his new girlfriend, no, with the with the original girlfriend. He went back oh, to sorry, Sydney. Sorry, sorry. He went back to Sydney, the one that I like. Yeah. Now, girl, you did not have to take him back. Agree. She's very forgiving to take him back. That being said, we don't know if anything happened, but the flirting was undeniable. Oh, it was. We yeah. have since new info. Really? We do. Oh, boy. So in the trashiest story in UK history... <laughs> They've arranged <laughs> <laughs> they've arranged a boxing match between um Sydney and Cheyenne. Correct. A battle for Bevo's love. <laughs> for the guy who slurps down slop, brown slop for we, a living. We love brown slop. <laughs> hey, don't hey. Don't judge the brown sloppers. <laughs> yeah, maybe it tastes really good. I don't know. But it's 
Definitely brown. Wait, slop. what do you what do you mean when you say brown slop? I, I just the, the stuff that he eats is oh. it's usually just like that's some English like, food. Yeah, exactly. It's like gravy covered. Bring me the slop. Blank, bring me the the blanky inkies <laughs> in a blanket, eh? <laughs> <laughs> with some beans on toast with some inky blinkies. <laughs> a teeny weeny inky blinky on toast, please. <laughs> what is that? Oh, they're like, it's a sausage wrapped in inside of a tomato. It's like something's like so dumb. <laughs> yeah. You're like, you didn't, why'd you put a sausage in a tomato? You didn't need to do that. <laughs> we love the English. They, they apparently invented civilization, and yet look at their breakfast. Invented civilization? The English? Uh, I thought it was Mesopotamia. I thought it was Don't white supremacists think they're like the, the original whites? N no. I who don't think so. are I think you? Who are the original whites? <laughs> <laughs> um, the original whites um, is God. When they start talking about like race and stuff, the language gets crazy. I'm just gonna read this. This is from Wikipedia, so I'm saying I'm just reading this. It's on Wikipedia. Following miners, Blumot Bach described the Caucasian race as consisting of the native inhabitants. I didn't see. It's, it would have been fine, but. Yikes! Yeah, I buttoned it because I uh, love pan I No, I asked them. No, I listen. Off no, no, no. Okay. If there's button. a question, then I want a button. Okay. Leave no doubt. Yeah. <laughs> I just think that wouldn't be good to have. I'll but here's it. what now what they're going to see is so, okay, I'm going to talk about race for a second. <laughs> Bleep. <laughs> button. I was reading a passage from Wikipedia in yeah, which one of the words fine, was. Uh, yeah. Okay, you can read it again. Wikipedia. No, is let's like just move on. It was. Please. Please. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. That's exactly what it was, huh? So, um, Sydney and Cheyenne set up a fight. We were watching the live, but it was kind of a disaster. It was really trashy. Nobody knew what was happening. Did they end up fighting in the end? They did end up fighting. The first week it was pushed because they got kicked out of the gym. Oh, they didn't even plan that shit. And a lot happened before their fight. So here's their big announcement that they're back together. Now, I'm assuming Bevo was just like, babe, nothing happened. Trust me. And so she let him back. Big mistake. Here they are back together, though, before tragedy strikes. Let's get some audio. And, and not only stank anyway, you know the, you know the rules, Bevo's only you know the rules, only I can flirt on with one girl. He did not cheat on her, uh, supposedly, yeah, yeah, I said that. It. Go ahead, Beef. I put the graft in, she's back, she's forgiven me, listen babe, you're gonna win tonight, you know the rules, listen, bun Cheyenne, and not only stank anyway, you know the rules, listen. She's gonna get what's coming to her. She's getting what's coming. coming, and listen, 8 p.m., it's gonna be on, you're gonna smack her up, she's ready, go and put them up, put them up, she's coming. But yes, listen, HS Tiki Toki, 8 p.m. Tiki Toki? Why is he, why do the English do this? <laughs> Why did he say Tiki Taki? What is that? What was um, that about? Yeah, just, that is a guy. That is the the Instagram account that they go live on when they fight. It's Tiki Taki. <laughs> it's a uh, HS a, Tiki Taki. HS is a massive TikToker. Oh, in England. I thought he was just doing like an English idiom. <laughs> no. Right at eight o'clock, Tiki Taki. Get on the Tiki Taki. <laughs> what the fuck? But yes, listen, HS Tiki Taki, eight p.m. Well, Instagram. Um, but yeah, I just don't know oh, why everyone right? come hating. Um, I've apologized in it. I'm sorry. In it. I've done a lot for this girl and I don't want to lose her in it. So, yeah, we we'll get there. We'll get there. But make sure you win. That's him. HS. I'm going to take, oh. I'll take you to the shard after you. Tiki Toki. Go to the shard, celebrate, pop a bottle. But listen, 8 p.m., HS Tiki Toki. Come over to the live. Watch, uh, watch Sydney. 
I did quite shy. Don't worry. Watch Sydney smack shy. Don't worry. Don't worry. Bevo. Wait, he did? Yeah, he's called Shy. Let me go back. Bro. Watch Sydney. You know the rule. I did quite shy. Don't worry. Watch Sydney smack shy. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know oh, the rules. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. Bro forgot the rules. You win. Obviously. I'm going to take I'll take you to the Shard after, yeah? <laughs> Go to the Shard, celebrate, pop a bottle. But listen, 8 p.m., HS Tiki Toki. Come over to the live. Watch, Shire, uh, watch Sydney. I think we're Cheyenne. Don't worry. Watch Sydney smack Cheyenne. He had, the, he had the comment on it, too, which made it worse. Yeah. Um, can you translate what the fuck he's saying here? Hold on. Listen, 8 p.m., HS Tiki Toki. Come over to the live. Watch, uh, watch Sydney. I think we're Cheyenne. Don't worry. Watch I, Sydney. I can't watch this anymore. Sorry. I just watched it like 20 times. <laughs> okay, yeah. It. We can move on. I got to get out of this. Get out. Um, so, so they're back together. No shot, bro. No fucking way. AB just sent me a breaking Bevo update. Yep. Oh, no. Yep. I'm getting, a proposal getting... happened. <laughs> yep. 15 minutes ago. <laughs> Holy smokes. Well, let's catch up. So they're back together, and, and I think everybody's happy to see that uh, true love will find you in the end. Um, and, and we love love. So after the fight was canceled because they were kicked out, Sydney and Bevo explained what happened that night together in a TikTok clarifying the fight getting shut down was not a setup. And Bevo did not cheat on Sydney. I knew that was the line to get her back. Hello. I love the angle. So we just got back Weird. from whatever you want to call Shabble what that event. was. Um, Let me get this straight. They just showed up to a gym they, expecting to fight? No, they went to the gym and it was there, but they had it like a time slot and then they were kicked out by the city. Oh. Uh, shut down. Yeah, because no shut Because there was too many people there? Yeah. There was like 100,000 live viewers on that. It was so Instagram much. Live, so. It was exciting. Yeah, I was in. Did Bevo literally has become like a um, cultural icon in, in of England? You know, yeah. like we need we need a bust of him in like the fucking Buckingham. I want a biopic made, yeah. Bevo biopic, <laughs> yeah. Biopic. Someone will get that Oscar. Join us for the life of Bevo. Todger. From humble beginnings to swallowing his future whole. I'm dreaming of my next Tucker. Watch Bevo swallow a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> I'm that date wheel's hitting me, I think. Yeah. I've seen awesome. a lot of people saying that it set up, that it was put on. I mean, the police turned up, what was it, the start and the middle. So and I think it was the first fight. No, before the first fight even started, the police turned up. It's and the then check. they turned up again in the middle. And then, envir was it environmental health? Environmental health, health or because there's so many people within one place that it had yeah, to be Yeah, because checked. so many people turn up. Because it was the same location as last week, which I said uh, it shouldn't have been. It shouldn't have been the same location. It should have got changed right. for this exact reason. Right. Oh, I gave HS another gym as well. Uh, uh, this is a lot. Should, this is kind of long. Should I watch the whole thing? So they're explaining that um, what what I just said, basically, essentially. Um, Wait, we're just, you're hand waving some pretty, <laughs> what I? happened? All right, I'll open it. No, we got to watch that. Think okay, all right. I wasn't sure. Hello. So we just got back <laughs> no. from right. health. mental health or what? Because there's so many was people it all in one place. Why would it be fake? Yeah, because yeah, that's video. the information that I'm gathering from it's, this video. The Who next says? video tells you Bevo says that none of it was real. No, he's lying. Well, let's he's see. Lying. I don't know. I don't that know. shit was real as a heart attack. That what? dude is. That shit is realer than the, his veneers, man. He says it was for the fight. <laughs> no way. Turn up because it was the same location as last week, which I said uh, it shouldn't have been. It shouldn't have been the same location. It should have got changed for this exact reason. Oh, I gave HS another gym as well. Uh, um, hey, it was meant to be four people per fighter. And we walk in. people in that gym. <laughs> we walk in and there's about a thousand people in there. Too uh, much people outside. They keep talking at the same time, the and like in my zoinked out brain, I can't like <laughs> parse can't through all this talking. Okay, like, they're saying that they're, they're, one they're at a time. They're explaining that the gym got shut down because there was about a thousand people there. I heard and that. Fire regulations. Also, a fight all. broke out in the crowd. I remember watching. Mm. That's a classy uh, it was, yes. event. Oh yeah, it's good stuff. Oh yeah. And I don't understand why all these influencers are turning up, but I just 
Yeah, you know why, Bevo. You're a fucking on. You know the rules. They're there for you. They're there because you swallowed a fucking potato whole, my friend. <laughs> you made all this happen. Bevo has the fake eyelash extensions uh, filter on, by the way. Really? Yes, because Sydney has it on for herself, and it's it's it keeps jumping up. up. <laughs> I can't look at anything but how bright his teeth are. It's incredible <laughs> how, <laughs> like, it's like neon. Yeah, it's like a neon light in this frame. Chip Skylock. <laughs> it's awesome. I love his teeth, Hugh. They're like we were gonna make it. A, uh, we like to make it look realistic, so we we do it like a, this kind of sh slight tinge of yellow. I want it pure white, mate. <laughs> That pause is crazy. It's awesome. Still trying to. A, a rumor has it you can actually um, start a fire if you bounce the light off his um, teeth like a magnet. Yeah. Dude, we're at 51K right now. Watch it. Why? Because people Bevo. are invested in this Bevo story. I've been trying to tell you. No, they're they're clearly invested in me being zoinked out on fucking <laughs> yeah. oh, maybe that's cold meds because we have barely touched on this. If people are watching. They want they're not watching the Bevo, Bevo juice. They're watching for Dayquil. Yeah. They want the Bevo juice. I'm trying to give it to him, man. All right, Bevo, just can y'all focus, please, and just say what the <laughs> fuck you want. I'm still. I can't with the ticky talky blinky like, blinders. Yeah, stop like, it. wasting my time to train for this. Wasting our trainers' time driving us up there, exactly. making us look very We've unprofessional. Drive an hour and a half to get there. Why are they two hours, each other? Expecting a fight to happen for nothing to happen. It's it's I don't know. It's hard to. It's a joke. It's just respect, I think it comes down to. And hey, Chess, oh, listen, like, you're doing what you're doing. But for it to all get <laughs> shut down, at least come up to Sydney and Cheyenne and say, look, it's not happening. I do apologize. For the fact that you ran away, I feel like that's very dis. Why? Who cares? It got shut down. What did they mad because he didn't? He just bailed? I mean, what? They're the upset. I mean, this was going to be a big moment for them. And it, uh. because of poor organization, it got shut down. I understand. They have a legitimate grievance here. Don't he's he's mad that the dude didn't say bye to him. I mean, he's mad dude didn't give him a kiss goodbye. I don't know what he wants. Disrespectful um, to allow all these influences in there. I think it's very disrespectful as well. Um, like there was a madness at Modine's and General G's fight, and this was even mad. Like the fucking fight broke out halfway through. And yeah, there's a fight. Then the guy didn't want to. Everyone fight. Everyone should have just left. Everyone should have got removed, it's, and oh. they should have just let me and Cheyenne fight, and then everyone would have gone. But no. You guys should meet on the street. Y'all don't need to meet in the ring. No, That's true. instead, everyone's just let, let, you know, done it out on the sidewalk. Let's scrap. Let them scrap, man. This, they're fighting for Bevo's heart. That's that's a serious combat. They've um, Bevo's Bevo's love launched a thousand baked potatoes. That's a tra that's a kind of a joke at Ellen H Helen of Troy. Yes, a woman so beautiful she launched, launched a thousand it. boats. Mm. Yeah. So Bevo <laughs> launched a thousand baked <laughs> potatoes. That's why they're fighting for his love. <laughs> I'm working on uh, fumes here. All right, moving on. Um, Bevo posted this video saying he would never cheat, and it was, the narrative was all a lie. Bro, no shot. Right, like I'm being a like scumbag. <laughs> no shot. <laughs> Like, I'm cheating. All right, what's happening, guys? You know what I love? Yeah, I got to say this about Bevo. i never seen anybody that looks like him. <laughs> he has no doppelganger in the whole world. I never did. Yeah, you, you know? I never like did. That's part of his appeal, too, I think. You know? Mm -hmm. Awesome. I hear he is lying. <laughs> through his veneers. <laughs> <laughs> just a beef over here. Um, I just wanted to clear something up in it. So, it's the morning after the uh, HS Tiki Toki midweek madness. And let me tell you now, that was a madness. Um, I am pissed off, I'll be real, because my girlfriend under Sydney, um, she didn't get to fight because he got shut down. Um, it was very poorly run. Um, I want to put out there as well, I did cheat. That was part of HS's master plan to promote the fight. Um, so I'm getting a lot of hate saying I cheated, but I've never he, cheated on bro, a girl. He is so dumb. That he thinks anyone would believe this shit. The, what's unbelievable is that he would mastermind some kind of scandal. I seen y'all touching each other. There was no fight planned. He's lying. You think so? Of course. He's just, he's getting heat. 
People are hating on him because they're like, why'd you take him back? Well, he's, he's throwing a loser. A, he's, he's a cheater. He's like, oh, yeah, no, it was all fake. So he's throwing somebody named H.S. Tiki Taki under the bus here. Do you think that he'd be willing to throw a big creator like that under the bus? Yeah, to to tell top people telling his girlfriend to dump him. Hmm. It's just Why Tiki Taki is a big... Uh, Although Tiki Taki maybe looks like a mastermind. Maybe together they're like, I'm going to say this is a lie. You're going to look cool like you mastermind it. Mm. You did a little Tiki Taki. You could be in on You in did on a Tiki Taki. Watch you wiki walkie boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Yo, that's, man, that's never that's not, Does anyone think he's being truthful here? What do we I, think? I don't really know, but I do know that HS is like a weirdo. He's a big weirdo and he's very dumb. That's Tiki Talkie? Yeah. Tiki Walkie. Yeah. He's Tiki a big piece of shit. Hey, Tiki Talkie. Tiki Talkie, mate. I believe that the promo, like, they all want to get famous online, obviously. So, like, they're into the clout of it all, at the very least, I think. Dude, and we live in a world where Bevo is their tick t ticket to fame and fortune. <laughs> Everybody is riding his coattails. Genuine talent, dude. He deserves it. Once in a generation, like mm -hmm. MJ. Check this out. Breaking Bevo, he actually got an offer to make a new network series. Breaking Bevo. <laughs> we test to see how big of chunks can he swallow before he <laughs> dies. He's gonna swallow the bone and everything, man. I'm the one who knocks, mate. <laughs> I'm the one who swallows, isn't it? You can't keep getting away with it! His teeth are blinding, my goodness. Breaking Bevo coming to um, FX. Yep. This was another funny meme. No hate to Beast. You know I'm a Beast head. But there is kind of something funny here. They there's... both have that dead inside smile. <laughs> Isn't it? I got to say, I, I, think, see it. I think Bevo has more life yeah. in his face <laughs> yeah. than Beast does yeah. in this photo. I would, I would agree. Who's, yeah. who's really inside that? Yeah. Who's behind there? Mm. What type of lizard is wearing that skin? What is going on there? Anyway, I'd love to see them together. That would be terrific. Alright, so Wiki Walkie. <laughs> Bevo posted he would never cheat, and it's fake. He's lying. Not me. That's not me. Um, but yeah, uh, just it went all wrong yesterday. Um, I had to get up early for a flight. I'm in Heathrow Airport right now. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Sydney don't want to fight now. Um, I was pissed off. She's pissed off. My trainers were pissed off. Um, Why did they care? Yeah. They, they were training for like two days. <laughs> right? Unless it was a stunt. No. Yeah, maybe this uh, is part of the narrative. We're still in it. He's trying no. to make it seem in like... It? In it? We're still in it, <laughs> in it. Bevo, you're such a liar. What can you do? But hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. Go on. Sydney was real quick to forgive him. Wouldn't it make more sense if it was true that she and she was in on it? No. For that forgiveness to happen so quickly? First of all, Bevo. The collect. Uh, I'm not going to go there. Okay. They're not bright. They're not bright people. Hmm. I don't think they think much ahead of time of on much anything. Um, no hate to the to we love the beeves. Leave it to Beaver. <laughs> Leave it he down. always finds a solution. Right. But what makes sense to me is that he got caught. Then he had to convince his girlfriend nothing happened. But then she'd be lying. She would lie. If they're back together, she forgives him. And she's yeah. like, we got to get rid of all this hate. Let's sure. just say it was a plant. She would lie about that. Because yeah, she's, she's loyal. That's income for both of them probably too. When right. he makes money, she makes money. You know? That's interesting. You said she's loyal. She loyal. You you guys are making Ooh. a judgment too quick. I think you gotta dive in a little bit more. There's Things a lot of change. twists and turns. All okay. right, let me, All right, let me get, keep going. Then. I don't want to get caught in the Bevo vortex. Yeah, let's yeah, keep yeah. It going. Um, so here now is the new chapter: breakup with Sydney. Oh no! And a new girlfriend enters. Sydney posted a TikTok having dinner with another guy named Briso. Is this before or after? <laughs> wait, exactly. wait, 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 wait. Named what? Brizzo. She dumped a Bevo for a dude <laughs> named Brizzo? <laughs> Brizzo. Brizzo. I'll take a Bevo and a Brizzo, Mike. <laughs> Oi, 
Uh, where do these people live? <laughs> in uh, Tiki Talkie, though. In uh, uh, east of London was the uh, determination that. Is was there made. some kind of stereotype about where they live? Yeah, uh, they're called Essies, and I, I only know this because uh, last time that we talked about Bevo, our UK fans were uh, saying in the chat because you were asking about like what is his accent and everything, and everybody was speculating. He's an Essie, which is uh, from. Yeah, it's like the area east of London. So are they, I just, hmm, the English are funny. They have all these weird little enclaves and names for each other. Like every, every like 30 feet is like a new neighborhood that has its own accent in like thousand year old history in, in England. So yeah. It's very, in it, in in it, in so it. anyway, so, so Sydney didn't cheat though. This is afterwards. She went and got some strange dick from Brisso. Oh no. She just posted that she was having She got brizzled up. That's all she did. Is she posted she was having dinner with this guy named Brisso. All right, let's take a look at our boy Brisso, who's an Essie. Isn't it? Or is he, maybe he's a Londoner. Maybe he's a class act. I told you. Okay, so she likes, he's got similar hair, <laughs> like slicked back as shit. That's what I'm saying. He's got a nice jacket, Canadian goose. Goose, and that might be fake. It might be a fake. Yeah. Those are expensive jackets. I remember in, when we were in New York, that was the status symbol. Oh, yeah. If you lived in Manhattan, if you had money, everybody was decked down in that, in that uh, silly goose. <laughs> um, quite silly, to be honest. Everybody has this shit. It's like, dude, find a new jacket. Mm -hmm. People should wear Brisso. I'm just uh, here with my boy George. Uh, a bit of TGI's. My lovely bit of brother. He's even doing the eating thing? Mm -hmm. For the, the wall to wall platter, I think. Well, um, we've got a nice little special guest with us. <laughs> Big ass Sydney. What'd you go for? Cajun chicken. Cajun chicken, pasta. So yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna slap it on here. And we're just gonna see what it's about. So, I think this- so Are you gonna like swallow it whole? Cause that's why we like you though. <laughs> yeah, what? Cause if you, if you'll swallow it whole, I'll switch teams. I'm just here for that. Yeah. I don't, you know what I mean? It's like yeah. a, a, a fillet or chicken or something. I'll bang that on there. It's a fucking, we it's a piece of chicken, man. I don't know what this is. It looks like a drumstick, <laughs> doesn't it? Oh, what the... Oh, I don't know. Why what... are you so confused, man? Because <laughs> it's not brown <laughs> slop, dude. Yeah. It's like, a, a, a like, where's the gravy? Or bang that on there. I don't know what this <laughs> is, <laughs> mate. It's some kind of chicken... <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Chiggly it's coop. I think it's called a chickenly coop. It's called a chicky wicky in the coop, mate. <laughs> it's called chicken run the coop. <laughs> You're like, oh, you mean like the chicken nugget? Yeah, it's called a chicky wicky wonder coop, Mike. <laughs> Why do you all have to say all that? It's just a chicken nugget. <laughs> a chicky wicky wonder coop, Mike. A ketchup. He's <laughs> <laughs> banging, banging a bit of grass. We're going to suck this straight in. Bro, he's fast eater. Oh my he, God. He put in his mouth from dipping to mouth. The time was crazy fast. And that's just his. <laughs> Watch this. We're gonna suck this Boom. In. Boom. He didn't even let this. chewing, dude. Come on. Such a small bite, too. That's that, another rule. That's nothing. It's not that, the rules. Hey, that Philip, unbelievable. She's, she's smoked, not impressed. Smoked honey even. chicken, I think. Bang that in there. She hates that. She hates that. Hell, yeah. Riz, dude. Look at her. She has the ick right now, dude. Yeah. But yeah, no. Look how much he's chewing. Yeah, that's gross, bro. She don't like all that. What the fuck? You gotta dry swallow it like he, a pill. Is he more handsome than Bevo? <laughs> yeah. Is this an upgrade, a sidestep, or a downgrade? Sidestep. It's definitely a it's side. A s well, I don't know. I, don't I mean, know. speaking about like, if we're if we're talking like TikTok clout and all that, we're we're weighing that in. I I would say it. it it's I'd a hit downgrade. It with a sidestep or a down. Well, or a down. this guy has no clout. Yeah, what does yeah. this guy do? Bevo's thing. And, and, he just eats he, chicken but, like right. a normal. And dude. how Bevo's the crown prince? But Bevo yeah. cheated on. And her. how Doesn't white is this well. guy's teeth? Please. Yeah. Let's dude, see these teeth. Regular ass teeth. Bevo's smile comes around once in a lifetime. You're right. Oh, what's this? What's this on inside? What is this thing? This hard thing inside the chicken, Mike? It's shaped like some kind of stick, isn't it? <laughs> a sticky wiki. A, oh, yeah, kind of, a sticky wiki. Hey, this coop. stick, this chicken got a sticky wiki. I gotta tell the cook, mate. I forgot to remove the skewer from this chicken. <laughs> we love them. We love the essies. 
Look at that banging. That is, I'm telling you, that's unbelievable. What's, what's that like? Good? Smashing, banging. All right, I've seen enough. Well, yeah, we get it. He there's shoots. no evidence that there's any romantic endeavor right. happening here. In fact, the body language would tell me that it was not in a, in a romantic uh, mingling. Me too. However, right before this, she posted two very cryptic TikToks. So before posting this, she posted with another guy. No, 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 no. Before she posted with Brisso, she posted these. Okay, let's see. Before Brisso came out. Another one. <laughs> another one? Becoming the best version of yourself comes with a lot of oh. goodbyes. Sadly. Oh, no. Didn't we check it? Is it a claim? Okay? Oh, it says mute audio. No, no, that's for the next one. This one was okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Create you is to lose you. Sometimes you just need to disconnect and enjoy your own company. Damn. Yeah. She's going through something. Yeah. Something is happening. Isn't it? Isn't it? I don't think that means that she's necessarily with Brissa. Right, but what about the next one? So she's posting a singing. We can't play the audio of it, but let's try to feel the vibe. If we can, please. The lyrics. Well, the lyri Go ahead. Oh, sorry. The lyrics she's singing is, I can fuck who I want. Oh. Mm -hmm. She's trying guy? to make him jealous. She doesn't want to fuck Brissot. You don't think she wants to fuck Brissot? Man, Brissot's no good. That's gross. Yeah, Brissot chews. He's not. No, 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 no. He's a slurper, man. No, no, no. Straight she to the dip, right to the mouth, man. We don't like all that. You got to let it linger at least a second or two. So now Sydney posted a caption says, I didn't cheat because I didn't sleep with them. A response to the beeve, to Beavis. Go ahead. Nope, we have to mute the audio again. I didn't cheat because I didn't sleep with them. I don't even know what... I don't understand what is happening. She's basically telling she, us that Bevo said to her, I did not cheat because I did not sleep with Cheyenne. He, so he or did make if out there's someone her. we don't know about. He's not acknowledging the emotional cheating that yeah. went on. Which is important. Yeah. I mean, yeah. We saw that video. No, that's cheating, girl. He's no good. Yeah. So now, okay, whatever happened with them, it's old history. It doesn't matter because Bevo has a new girl and they are in love. Check this out. <laughs> this okay. is the new girl. Her name is... Um, what's her name? Her name is... She's an OF girl, I think, too. I, I remember reading that. Sophia? Yeah. So... <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> you know Brevo's breath stinks. <laughs> <laughs> you just know it. Yeah, you can't get under those veneers with a toothbrush. There's too much going on. <laughs> yeah. oh, can you imagine making out with Bevo? No offense. <laughs> but holy shit, man. I feel like you could taste the white. And it doesn't taste good. It's porcelain. It's tastes inside like, of a toilet bowl. Tastes like fungus, in it? <laughs> tastes like raw and bacteria. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why is it sped down? What the fuck? <laughs> it's not. What is this video? <laughs> Bebo's now dating a new sideman oh, girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, weird. We've been cheating on Sydney. I'm not with Sydney. But I am late on. I'm, I'm going to give her a charge. Dude, Bevo is a god in this town. <laughs> he takes who he wants. <laughs> he is the king of, of East Essex or whatever. <laughs> yeah. He's the Thomas Shelby of East Essex. <laughs> I don't know what this means. I don't know if this means anything. I submit it without comment. I see it. He could be part of the, the B squad, I think. Dude, he's he's me and Mr. Beast fused. I don't want to admit that. I hate that, but it's Yo. He's what, Mr. Beast? Me said... and Mr. Beast fused. Oh. Can we get that? Can we do like one of the like a face app, like fuse of A B and Mr. Beast and see if it looks like Bevo? Sure. I, think I would accurate. like to fund Bevo to make a Mr. Beast esque video. I think you it would rules. be phenomenal. <laughs> you know the rules. <laughs> No safe. He just gets a bunch of people to uh, do like an eating competition, but they can't chew. No. Hmm. Just, All right, chokes. go on. I've uh, got a million quid. <laughs> if you choke, you're out. <laughs> well, don't do host our guests. No, you actually have to go. Like you got family. I'm live. Oh, you, oh, you are. Yeah. Audio is oh. slightly yeah, delayed. Guess. guess. You don't follow the rules. Then can you search. 
Wow. It's a search bar. Why did they post this? They're not even... T what is this from? They're not even talking to me. <laughs> it seems to be a live stream. This was, yeah, yeah. during okay, a live okay. stream. Because this, this whole story is hard to patch together because most of the content is just them like talking to somebody off camera. <laughs> They're <Yeah>. always live. <laughs> Are they really? They're, That's my boy. He hustles. He grinds. Right, right now. That's how he gets the girls, man. He's grinding. <laughs> That's how he gets the girls by going you live. Know my friend that yeah, he's, he's farming that clout. Absolute. Hi. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> <laughs> She's always puckering her lips. I love that. For her. I'll go on your live and I'll follow you. What about? Please. Or is that just okay? Whatever. <laughs> I think she may. Is that the bird that showed her stuff on the side then? Yeah. We got, what would you get out? My tits. For fuck's sake. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. What happened? Something about her tits out? In it? In it? In it. Mm, her titties out in a willy walker. <laughs> her milky duddy, her, her milky mummy wiki wackies are out, mate. Her <laughs> wiki <laughs> The nipple biffles. <laughs> They're out, Mike. <laughs> the nipple wibbles on her wicky wackies. Her wicky wackies. wackies. Cover them up. <laughs> Spray on my teeth. <laughs> Side men. Yeah. What you got? What would you get out? My tits. The what does that mean? She's part of the side men. Now I'm so confused because I know that's <laughs> a KSI thing. The K yeah, they it. do. They're like, talking about his thing. She. It, uh, participates in the like experiment videos that they do. Sometimes they have like a bunch of girls talk to the side men. And she guys, brought her tits and out. It, and it seems that she is one of the side men girls. And she showed her boobs in a video yeah. for yeah. YouTube. I don't know about I that guess. part. Is she saying that she got a pair of boobs out of that? Out of being in those videos? Like she's talking about a boob job? Wait. Let's listen again. Wait. Hold on. I'm about to act up here. <laughs> Yo. This oh, wait, wait. No, this is half. No, this is half. This is half AB, half Bevo. Yeah. No, we need. This guy's hot as like a Houthi pirate. <laughs> but, didn't you say that Bevo was half AB yeah. and half Mr. Beast? Yeah. Yeah. So oh, we sorry, need the yeah. hybrid of AB and Mr. Beast. AB, what do you go. think and about see this? See if Bevo though. gets pumped out. I uh, not a fan, but it's not the worst thing. You don't like it? I think he looks good, man. Bevo, isn't it? Kind of wild technology of that, mate. You took the wiki wackies and rub them together, and now you got this whole image, man. Don't make no sense. Watch I can't do a fucking accent. I hate it. I wish I could. It'd be so funny if I could do an English accent. You know, I notice you do it best when you start off as a Peaky Blinder. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> Peaky fucking blinders. That's all I hear. <laughs> the Peaky fucking blinders. I'm off the fucking shoulder. Oi, listen here. I'm a peaky fucking blindy windy mate. <laughs> and I got a boomy woomy stick here. Yeah. Tell all you. Don't fuck with the blinders. Or a wicky wacky boomy boomy. <laughs> we'll be going bow bow boomy boomy. Isn't it? Boom, boom, boom. Clicky Not ticky. Here, oh, it's a quicky clicky ticky time mate. Time to go grab some supper. Oi. I told you. I would I'd be so funny. Oh my god. <laughs> Told her to say Booyakasha. Booyakasha. <laughs> Cam sent a new image. This one is horrifying. Press her account if it comes on. <laughs> what the shit? Mm. No, nah, this person I don't like. It's still wrong, actually. It's supposed to be me and Mr. Beast fused. This what? is okay. yeah. well it's not gonna work. Cam. It's not gonna work. This is Beastvo. Hold on. You're doing every iteration but the one we but show that the one. Become on. Beaver because it doesn't trying have to the protect teeth. me, Cam. Mm. No, that doesn't work either. No comment. <laughs> Steven is not. A, <laughs> all right, let me finish this dumbass. God, what the? Beavo is now dating a new sideman girl, so she has this claim to fame. She's not an ordinary girl. She's a side. I. She showed her boobs <laughs> to the sideman once. <laughs> Apparently, she, she ain't an ordinary girl. Mm. She's royalty around these parts. Keep it lemons. Oh wait, if I do this, if I come live like that, you have to yeah, yeah, yeah. click on me. What? The side men wept. <laughs> the side men wept. I know she's pretty. Oh. No. Oh. 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 I can't wait to get loads of comments. I'm fucking. Wait, your request? Yeah, I'm multi-group. 
And what does Bevo, th- why does he think people are watching, I wonder? Because he's not making any effort to be entertaining, yet the people are watching. What does he think is happening? Does he think he's funny, charming, interesting, or does he know that people are here for the spectacle? I don't know. I don't know, dude. But why is he, but then, like... Seems self-aware a little bit. <sighs> I I'm not sure. So. I don't it. agree with that. Yeah, I'm not sure about it. I think he just thinks, look at him with this cool girl. I didn't really think about it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah maybe. I didn't thought about it, to be honest with you. So this, now who the fuck is this? This is A, B, Bevo, and Beast combined? <laughs> no, that's A, B, and Beast. Why that's A, B, and Beast. Okay, that's yeah. not very Bevo. A, I Beast? I that guy is. That's a weird one. You are hotter with Bevo. Yeah. Yeah. I like B. Give- a Bevo. <laughs> <laughs> I love El Bevo. El Bevo Dante. Buen venido. <laughs> Un numero dos. Ideas is. Uh, Let's keep it going. I didn't do a lot of Spanish. Yeah. I, no, okay. I did like good. half a. I didn't hear. Yeah. Um. So where are we? They okay. So she's with Brissa. We're at that's seven A. Out. She's taunting Sydney. Oh shit! She's coming for our girl. Why are you doing that? Sydney's a good girl. She did nothing wrong. Yeah. Get cheated on. Why are you going after her? Dina. Dina. Shall we oh. go fucking? Be- oh, this is I mean- the ticky talky guy. Yeah. So wait, oh. they're calling them out. What's this video? Oh, it's right here. Because the ticky talky guy is a big influencer. Right. And what the fuck is that so on the table? So this is them eating. So here she's eating with ticky talky. What is that? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. What's happening It's ticky talky. It's. Hey. Talk to me, baby. Wait, do we know that this is her? He tags he her. He tags her. Oh, and then they were at dinner. Yeah, dude. No way. Can, oh, I, cl- can no. I scroll to the right? And I began to slide into check. him from oh, behind. Oh, no. No, it's just some random bullshit. I pulled out of him and kissed oh, him while he Bevo, masturbated. Bevo, you, you fucked up. Yeah, now Tiki Talkie's laying pipe. <laughs> Stroking as hard and fast as we can. He's doing a... um. What was it called when um all the English soldiers escaped from, like... What? They did a movie about it recently. Christopher Nolan's did it. Dunkirk. He's about to. He, dude, he Dunkirk that shit. I don't know. Hit it and get out. <laughs> Dunkirk. Mm. There. I didn't see the movie. I got it. Mm, doing the English, connecting the dots. In it. In it. Wiki walkie. In it. In it. In it. In it. So okay, in response, I guess to him saying he had sex with his ex, frankly. Um, they busted out the take. Uh, where is it? Here it is. So I'm I'm in favor. I mean, you go, girl. You go, fuck whoever you want. Dina, so we got a fucking big up the pair of chips here. Big up the fucking sweet potato fries. Big up the chicken fajita. Fajita. What the fuck? <laughs> Why is it served on the table? Yeah, what the fuck was you that? Just put that shit on it's the like table. a flat plate and all these juices england <laughs> yeah. is crazy dude especially with food y'all are just lost your damn minds huh. how is it that i may have made this joke before but i think it's important to reinforce how is it that y'all like conquered and colonialized the entire world and y'all still serving up like chicken that looks like that man chicken for you Sorry, like that. big up big for up the flight, the flight was decent, yeah. Bro, there's, that is not Big how up, you serve girl, food. Girl, girl, Big up. Go on, give it a try, girl. Do you like the chips? Yeah. Big up the coleslaw. Big up the chips. Big up the roosters, Perry Perry. Big up to boss man over there. Big up to you, boss man. Is he doing an accent to make fun of him, or is yeah. that his real voice? No, he's making a f- making fun of oh, thieves. He's doing an SC thing? Yeah. Thank you very much for having me. Big up to you. Big up Boss's hairline. Come on, Sean. Better hairline. Hairlines? Than Come on, man. Hey. Hey. Why you you just cruise in and start calling people bald? What's that about? It's fucked up. Yeah, that's messed up. Also, coming from a dude whose hairline's fucking trying to abort like <laughs> Dunkirk. 
I'm gonna try yeah, that I'll joke again. Like, I've heard it again. <laughs> She's, his hairline's trying to bail like Dunkirk. It hit for me the second time. Nice. This right here, D Day. Normandy. You, Dunkirk. We need a national rescue for this man's hairline. Send all the boats, mate. Bomb them. The fishy wishies. <laughs> Bomb them. The jolly lollies. <laughs> Bomb them again. Send all the boats, mate, to rescue this man's hairline. <laughs> all right, so there they're eating. Here is, she's taunting Sydney back. Yes. This is getting dirty. I don't like this. Mm. Wait, I already saw this. Dina. No, the, uh, this is Dina. Stitch. Oh, it's Stitch. Yeah. I mean, I don't know about you, but I've got your dinner. <laughs> Ooh. <gasps> that was weird. That's mean. Okay, let me break this down. I got you down. <laughs> she has, she says, I don't know about you, but I have his dinner, mate, isn't it? Dick too. Now she has his dinner. Is she talking about literally his dinner? Or is she saying his penis is dinner? That's what I took it as. And it used to be her dinner. That's mom. She's no. like, I've got your dinner. Dick too. So his dick is dinner? I think dick is dinner. Dick today. can be dinner. Yeah. It can be dinner. You are what you eat sometimes. <laughs> hmm. Dinner, isn't it? Okay, so the gauntlet has been thrown. The um the dinner plate, the dinner bell has been rung. <laughs> Supper. The chicken fajitas have been served on a flat plate <laughs> with juices everywhere. You missed it, Dad. Fajitas. Dan. Fucking Vegeta was this DBZ? This Dragon Ball Z motherfucker? No, it's chicken. Fajita. <laughs> Was he going to supercharge Earth Bomb the Earth or some shit? Fucking fried chicken. Um, here's a video of him hugging her waist in lingerie that has since been deleted. I have a photo, but I didn't include it because I don't know if it's... Too risque. Yeah, I can send it in chat. Oh, you guys tell me. Boy. So can I show this? Oh my God. Wait, what am I... Okay, hold the phone. So Sydney reposted this. Not Sydney always. stitched it. Otherwise, it's been erased. Yes. Can I show this, you guys? I mean, they're just in lingerie. Uh. <laughs> Let me watch more. Let me watch the thing. It might be a little spicy. Oh, shit. I don't know. What do you think, uh, love? I can't see it. They're all fully dressed. I mean, there's oh, it's it's nothing more than a bikini would, would show. I guess. It's risky, but uh, um, it's risky. The Let garters me... might make it like. Maybe different. it's not worth it. Yeah, it'll show. It ain't worth it. Anyway. All right, so what you're seeing is his new girl. Um, what's her name? Uh, Sophie. So Sophie. Sophia. 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 So Sophia's here. She's in lingerie. And then uh, she has another girl here who's also in lingerie. So I'm going to skip this part, but here they're trying to look sexy, and Bevo's standing behind him, um, and he comes and caresses her. Now Guys. here, okay. Now here comes Sydney. Let's see what she has to say. Dude, there's something in the water in this town. Like they need to be examined. I don't know. So, there's lead in the water. Or we something. have to go. This is not normal. In that the all of them are like this. I want to go to a fight night. <sighs> It's something in the air. Somebody's got to do a deep ecological study. It's the yeah. food. You think it's the food, eh? Yeah. It's got to be. Gravy. It's got to be. Isn't it? It's the gravy. We love the English, but man, don't make it hard sometimes. No, I'm kidding. I love the English. She's so Just the Essies are a special flavor of interesting. All different flavors. That's what it is. English is all different flavors. Can I say, why are you putting your arms like that around Squidward? Squidward? It literally looks like all bird. Like, Wait, that's kind of a funny insult. Mm. She looks. She says she looks like Squidward. <laughs> that's kind of good. I kind of see it. Nice. Awkward thing I've ever seen. And secondly, oh, I did I love nothing. her dog. Oh, look how cute that Dude, puppy is. She's winning me over with this dog. I mean, she, yeah. I'm already with her. Yeah. What the hecking dog? Good question. Thing for you to treat me and act the way you have. Pop off, girl. You cheated on me three times, kissed three different girls at the start of our relationship. Three different girls? And I so, still... he was, so he was lying about it being a set. Wow. He's just a dog. He's a dog. Well, he had been cheating <sighs> before that, too. Right? Um, Sounds like it. Yeah. So she's actually, I think at this moment, she's actually just bearing her, her honest yeah. soul out and being like, dude, why have you done this to me? May I posit my hypothesis? Please. I think that the Cheyenne thing happened, and I think that... 
maybe Bevo played it off to Sydney, like, no, 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 I was just trying to like hype the fight, like, don't worry, blah, blah, blah. I think there was someone after Cheyenne in between the lunch where she posted the like, <coughs> sometimes you have to let go. And then she had lunch with Briso. Yeah. I think that he cheated not with Cheyenne, but with someone else after wow. that night. Wow. Because well, they were back together. Why would she be gone already? Do you think he washed his penis in between? No. Because yeah, that's not. what Jesse Lee Peterson was afraid of. Yeah. yeah, sex stuff from other men. That is so crazy. It is. It is crazy. And, and dirt. Here's now a could be is dirt the thing to do. Here's there. a safer work. The last threesome on <laughs> What a frame. Yeah, he walks in <laughs> and this is his face. Isn't it? What going on here, oi? <laughs> I'm really... You got your milky wookies out, boy, mate. Put those other waters away. Moo. Moo moo. Put those moo moos away. Inky onky. Inky onky. It's not me, it's the English. Ride him, car park. Oh, I, I, went, I got past it before, whatever. Maybe he won't do it again. Maybe it'll be okay. Obviously, I was wrong because you went and gave some girl your number or asked some girl if she wanted your number. You somewhere. deserve better. You do. And then. Like, I really don't understand it. I was there when you had your... First teeth. Not as much clout. Oh. Your other... When you got your first... First... Dentures. So I think he had dentures before the veneers. His teeth had been so... Through so much. It's really a, just a whole engineering marvel in his mouth at this point. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... Modern marvel. If, if you open the back of his head, it's got like... Looks like the inside of a Rolex or some shit. You know? <laughs> right, clockwork. <laughs> All these crazy gears. I'll be back. <laughs> and there's just no need for it, really. There's no need to be for you to be slacking me off on the I internet agree. saying about my yeah, eye. No didn't have a problem She's right. With my mm -hmm. eye when you was with me, did you? In it. But you oh. also want to slate me for doing um, OnlyFans, but you're sitting there. What? She started on OnlyFans. Uh oh. Now, Olivia, you're the expert. You may know. I'm seeing that she may have potentially done an OnlyFans collab with Mr. Tiki Taki. Oh my oh, God. Oh, no. with the Tiki Taki. Oh, guy. this situation is. Uh, oh my God. So incestuous. You, out of control. Uh, I know about the OnlyFans. I didn't know the collab with HS Tiki Taki on OnlyFans. Oh, but that would make sense God. with the photo. Right. I'm seeing. Right? I saw that in chat, but I'm going to uh, keep looking. Well, should I subscribe to our OnlyFans? Should do we so have. Yeah. <laughs> Should I have access? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just go in, cancel it. We're, we want to support her. We do. I don't want to steal it. No. I'm not going to show it, but I'd no. like to hear from you what's behind there. Absolutely. Did I'm we, curious. Did we mention that that post of her with Mr. Tiki Taki was a collab post? It wasn't just his post. It was. On, it's on her profile too. Okay. Well. Well, they're apparently doing OF together. That's a twist I did not anticipate. Well, as Olivia cues those up, let me continue with two different birds who do it themselves like i really think you need to get your priorities straight like you just need you need to sort your life out and humble yourself true girl don't you know what i'll say to her i'll tell you this his day is coming trust me bevo is definitely not a figure that i predict um lasting uh i don't know though maybe i'm wrong maybe they maybe i'm wrong Especially if he doesn't chew his food. He's not going to live that long. Take it from AB. Yeah. Chewy. Oh, okay. I'm The caption of that post is, took your thing, Sydney, and stuck her on OnlyFans. On Only Friends. Only Friends. Is that what they call it? To be, like, safe for work? Probably. Only Friends? That would actually be a really fun app for just meeting friends. <laughs> that could actually be nice. Okay. So, are you in, Olivia? I'm creating an account. In it? In, in it? Oh, you put in the quitty witties. <laughs> hey, oi. Bevo, bring your wallet. I need a few quitty witties and a wing wong. The Jilly Willy needs some quitty witties, mate. Sharple, that's not your ID. It's not your ID. You nonce? I learned that, but that's a bad word. That's wash. <laughs> nonce is a 
Vash is a Nancy. We even got to Vash. Yeah. Vance is a Nancy, won't she? Getting fucked by a horse. He's a diddly widdler, mate. They can't even be serious about like child abuse. They go, that Nancy is a piddly widdly. There's no space in our society for piddly widdlies on kitty kiddlies. I think it's pretty sussy. Unless they're Prince Andrew, Duke of York. Thank you, baby. King, King we don't. True. So up until now, um, here's Bevo uh, on Valentine's Day with Sophia. Is that what I just watched? No, this is new. Dinner, They're you know still the together. Rules, um, you know the rules. Sophia, happy Valentine's Day. You know the rules. Listen, what we got. We've got, <laughs> what have we got? Butterfly chicken. Butterfly Wait. chicken. Yeah, butterfly what chicken, chips, rice. Garlic bread. I don't know. Bread. He's never yeah. said. Rule number one, there are no rules. <laughs> one that's, thing, that. that's a paradox, bro. <laughs> one bite, everyone knows the rules. <laughs> Do you think... You think in like his first video, he laid out the rules, or...? He's never said the rules. I think the rules is no chewing. I think. I think he's just stealing Dave Portnoy's thing. He doesn't know why he's saying it. Right. He's just saying it. Okay. What rules, you sons of bitches? <laughs> what rules? Good question. I don't know either. Yeah. No bites. Everyone knows the rules. It's a rule. It's a whirly doodly, mate. What are those things called? Like laws, but not really that seri serious? Oh, yeah. A rule. There are rules. So. Oh my god, more more breaking news yeah, coming in, more breaking news. Try the chips first, yeah. I'm hearing chips. that Bebo graduated from uh, Hustlers University? No shot. Okay, I gotta look more into this. Got a hot tip, but it's someone that I trust. Well, where did you hear that? Uh, where's Discord. the receipts? I mean, I'm, where's the receipts? Yep, I'm looking right now. Bebo's a hustler, no wonder he's doing so good. Dude! Is he getting these girls into OnlyFans and taking commission? The and if he's a hustler university, that's the their MO. He's becoming a pimp. No way, dude. Go ahead and eat those French fries, beef. Let me see it. Those fries look good, by the way. I got you very nice. Not bad, they're not bad, they're a big hole. We're outside yeah. though. <laughs> bit chiller. Bit chiller. Let's go again. <laughs> not bad, give it a seven. He gives everything a seven. It's pretty remarkable. Like everything. Right out of seven. Six. Ooh, fair enough, tough fair enough. Critic. I'll bet you chicken. Chicken and I. Some clocky walkie. Dude. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's how we So anyway, here they're having a Valentine's uh, dinner of Chicky Wicky and Chippy Whippies. Very nice. Happy for them. And then, um... So there's more up there. Is it here? Oh, no. I have... Bad news to share with you, Ethan. What? On this topic of Did all Bevo of these... die? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Big news. Bevo is dead. Uh, no. He's he choked. He choked to death. Yeah. yeah. No, somebody in the chat said, um, please look up what British people call crossing guards. I was like, huh. Oh, this okay. is gonna be good. Are you ready? This is gonna be good. Crossing guards are known by a variety of name, most widely used in the United Kingdom, Ireland, and Australia being Lollipop man. The lollipop man? Y'all yes. serious? After yes. Jimmy Savelle and everything you've been through as a society, <laughs> you're gonna call him the dude who's telling the kids where to walk the lollipop man? Stop right now. We've all jerked at the lolly. It's no, we have not, Vosh. Stop. Yeah, sorry to share that. Bring no lollipop, <laughs> mayonnaise. That's fucking dope, dude. <laughs> uh, hopefully he doesn't actually have lollies. Hopefully. Or maybe maybe he's a nice guy. Maybe maybe he's just a lollipop man. Well, I don't want to jump to conclusions. So here is um some Bevo intel. Family, I was browsing on Tinder and look who I found. I live in Essex in the UK too, about twenty minutes away from the town Bevo's from Canvey Island. Oh, they're on an island. That explains why they're all so weird. <laughs> we don't communicate with the outside world much. 
So we're in matching distance. I don't know what else to say, but this is either him or someone trolling. But I'm sure sure this is the guy. It's verified. Brandon. Who the fuck's Brandon? Man, I don't fuck with Brandon. So I had this feeling when you said that. I'm like, everything in the UK is named really fucking stupid and weird. I bet you Canvey Island isn't an island. I just looked it up. It's not. It's not an island. (laughs) Why they do? Why would they? Name I don't it? know. Everything in England's named really weird. Is it landlocked? Um, is it even on the water? It's a little <laughs> bit like a. I mean, there, I guess there's a river. Some maybe it's technically an island. It's not. An it's island. a peninsula. It's a peninsula. Yeah. Okay. Sure. You have to scroll through those photos for the hospital. So uh, he says, "Message me first. Do something <laughs> called TikTok. So don't take me seriously. Love traveling. So make sure you have a passport and a shots." If you believe my TikTok character is actually me, don't even swipe. Who is it then? His cover photo is him with a gun? Did you get your yeah. shots? That's the lead? Okay. <laughs> Bravo. Gun. We love to drink, mate. We're a country of alcoholics. It's true they are. I love the English, though. Um, you know the rules. He actually tattooed that. Pretty insane. I don't... Here he is with a belt. Um, Hustlers University. Could that just be a meme? Yeah. His, he wrote in school, Hustler University. It could also not even be necessarily a Tate reference. That's something someone could just type in like, yo, I'm a hustler. Yeah. So I, I, I wouldn't put that on him. That's a big claim. Um... Bevo got new teeth from Turkey, you guys. This is huge. He's about to upgrade to this a new girl. Reveal. New teeth, Big new up. girl. You know the you know the rules. <laughs> new day, new teeth, new girl. In it, you know the rules. Big up. What si- How size? What size do you want your teeth? Big up. Big up. So actually, this is from January twentieth. So this could explain all of his recent behavior. He got these new teeth, and then he changed up. Big Bomba Club. Big Turkey. Big up UK, Smiles. Listen, five I days later, I'm not going to keep you waiting any longer. I'm not a Mr. UK TikTok, but cheese. Oh Look at that. God, you know man. the rules. Listen, Bevo, Turkey Teeth. What we say in, rate them down below. They're definitely better than a 7 out of 10. Big up the teeth. You know the rules. But listen, you if you ever want to get your teeth done, drop me a message. Big up UK Smiles as well. Message UK Smiles because honestly. Didn't they do his teeth kind of weird? Five day turnaround. I mean, besides the color. Monday. Treatment started Tuesday and I'm done on Saturday. I'm back home tomorrow. Sure, back in the UK. I've got nightclub appearances. We got Dude, the- people. Nightclub got- appearances. Yes. Oh, he's wearing Damn. a Prada shirt. That's probably like a $200, $300 shirt. Blowing up. Bravo. A lot of merch dropping soon as well. So listen, appreciate The only it. thing brighter than his future are his teeth. <laughs> got I it. In. I still got it. Even under Dyquil. On the OnlyFans, I'm in. You're okay, so we're in the OnlyFans of Sydney. What are we what are yes. we looking at? So our most recent is a collab with Cheyenne from five days ago. Whoa! Yes. The girl? What? Yes. They came together. It's just a photo. It's just a photo. Uh, They're besties again, though. Because it was fake. Because, well, Bevo had f- left but both not, of them. But she's saying it's not fake. No, it's real. Go on. What else do you see? In the updates, you'll see that they, like, hug at the fight. But um, it's just four photos of her and then one of her and Cheyenne. So if she has one with uh, HS Tiki Talkie, it's not out yet. That's everything on her page? Yeah. What did she you pay started for that? It, I think she started it recently. Because she only has, yeah, five medias. Wait, what did you pay for that? Fifteen dollars, ninety nine cents. <laughs> Hold the phone. We just paid well, fifteen dollars. You for... paid that, yeah. It's just the three normal pictures. It is one video, uh, one photo of her, one photo of her, one photo of her, one photo of her and Cheyenne. What is she wearing? Is she even like a bra and underwear? Okay, so it's a little. Okay, it's a nice. It's a little, little spicy. Move. Nice little. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what that post kind of blew up. Yeah. Okay. All right. It. Yeah. yeah. Her and it's Cheyenne nice look beautiful. They're like leaning on the bed. And what's in the video? In the video, it's a selfie vid, and she's wearing a bra and undies. Okay. And she's showing it off, looking cute. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, I wanted to support her anyway, so. I haven't even seen this video. But please cancel. I do not want that. I don't want to get. Yeah. You want me to cancel it? Please, got yeah. it. Please, got please. it. This is a one time. And yeah, one time. let's. Yeah. Do not want to get canceled. 
I definitely don't want OnlyFans recurring payments. <laughs> you have to explain that to the Yeah, I want to explain that to anybody. We're unsubscribed. Fantastic. Over the years, we've done this a few times. They're going to be like uh, five reoccurring OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> we did it one time for that um, that dude that was on 90 Day Fiance. Um, fuck, he lived with his mom. Oh. What the fuck was his name? Colton. Colton. Wait, Colton made an OnlyFans? Oh yeah, my god, I remember. Years ago. Did he ever show dick or anything? No, we. The, I think the weirdest it got was he was in like a bathtub and he covered his dick with like uh, shampoo or something. Like oh that. yeah, that's right. Our world is so strange. <laughs> I think we did it for DJ Khaled too. You guys remember he started an OnlyFans for a while? Oh yeah, with Fat Joe, right? Yeah. <laughs> so fucking funny. <laughs> it's just them hanging out. <laughs> just, um, Nothing the boys just hanging them, out. Yeah, just boys I got hanging out. Oh, Bevo responds to comments. People are saying he's paying her to date him. They think that she's too good for our boy Bevo. Hey, babe, how much am I paying you per hour? Um, too much. Too much, too much. I'm going to be skint to get the views in. <laughs> oh, I, that's, no. Bevo can pull mad birds, mate. Yeah, mad birds. What, I think that's what they call them. Yeah, boy, birds. Um, Bevo entering his villain arc is what we've all been waiting for. There's... So the Cheyenne and Sydney fight is about to go on for this one. I've got a new one anyway, so fuck them, innit? Yep. Woo! Ew, Woo! ew. Ew, ew, oh, ew. Right, ew. Right, that's it. Get a room. Oh my gosh. But this fight is about to go down. These are his current exes. <laughs> and his new one. Who do you want to win? <laughs> what, do you think you've bagged the W no matter what? She's pretty chill. Like, she doesn't give a fuck about anything. You'd think, like... there for the clout, dude. That's there for the gravy. Like, if she actually cared about him, they'd be like, I don't want to go... Be talking about your exes all the time and be involved in their Finger drama, fuck. but she does not care. Yeah, it's probably a cloud thing. She just wants to be on on the camera. Chat said that she was on the Sidemen show. I don't know if we mentioned this, and that she showed her boobs uncensored on a Sidemen Plus thing. Yeah, <laughs> Sidemen has they do a plus <laughs> thing where they show bo girls boobs. Uh, it's probably just uncensored in general. What the fuck? What? Out. what? Like, what is happening in this world? Sidemen is doing porn. Sidemen Plus. I'm inside your. Sidemen <laughs> for your Sideman. <laughs> What's this? Okay, hold on. Go ahead, Bebo. <laughs> inside. Oh, oh, she'll take both at the same time. <laughs> Damn. Damn, you got a bad one on your hands, boy. <laughs> All right, this is about to kick off. Looks like he has a spray tan. Yeah, maybe. Something's weird. His teeth make um, fuck the color up of everything. Oh, so we don't see them <laughs> fight. Like it throws the white balance off yeah, of the exactly. camera and photo, you know, video. Um, That's a ten. I can't open it like this, Olivia. Here, the I sent. Uh, here, let me resend it. This so wait, who won the fight? Cheyenne won. If you oh, at no. the end of that video that you see them hug. Oh yeah, fella. Okay. Here's the fight. <laughs> oh, Sydney looks pretty good, but Cheyenne wins, huh? They're kind of not that bad, actually. No, yeah, it's getting a little. AB has her phone. Yeah, what do you think, AB? I don't know, Cheyenne. Actually, she's holding her hand. Pretty yeah, you got her hand. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe That's they did good. train. Oh shit! Oh no, oh. she's giving oh. up. Oh. I always see this happen in these amateur fights. One person thinks that like there's a timeout or something that like the and then the other person just keeps slamming them in the face. You know what I mean, AB? Yeah. No, it happens. Like once you just start to like, like that moment happens. If the other person just keeps going, it just fucks you up. You're just out of it. Mm. All right, I'm not going to watch, but not bad, actually. Not bad fight. I've seen worse fights on in, uh, on uh, Triller Boxing, man. A lot worse fights. Beta. They're, really upset. They're probably they besties the now. They probably really bonded over that, you know? 
They are. Is this one worth watching? What is this? They're besties. Yeah. They're back together. United against Bevo. Bevo United. Recovery Group. Oh, you got to mute that. Yeah. Yeah, we're girls again. <laughs> <laughs> Collabing on OnlyFans. Classy. The Cradle of Civilization. Why do you keep saying that? That's what nobody, they say. Nobody says that about England. Okay, hold on. I swear that's a thing. No, that's, but it's not about England. It's definitely not about Who's England. it about? It's Who's about it? Africa, isn't it? Uh, the cradle of civilization is Mesopotamia. Yeah. And it's about five to 6,000 no, years before England they, they was get, a thing. No, no, no. The irrigation Mes system is important. Stop messing, or, messing around. Tigris and <laughs> Euphrates. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What is the cradle... Let's see, that's an expression. Let's see, cradle civilization. What year is and it? And it does say Mesopotamia. Um, but did that even really, was that even really a place? I mean. Absolutely. It still is. It's still, How do you it know? Gone How do you know? How do we know? How do you know? I, I guess I personally don't know. I just trust uh, anthropologists and, and the like and what they have to say about it. You know why they call them anthropologists? No. Because they're apologists. Mm. For fake science. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. I get chilling all this dumbass Damn. puns. That's good. That's good. It's out of control. You know, I think it was Friday. You went four for four. What what happened, man? You know, it's the day quill. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. I'll hit good tomorrow. So that's it. Are we all caught up on beef? Well, I just sent the well, link to the story with his new girlfriend where he just proposed like an yeah, hour ago. Uh, like after like a week. This is breaking. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I believe it. So click on the profile picture and it will... Oh, it's a story? Yeah. yeah. She didn't even main post it. No. <laughs> Not a big deal. Okay, wait. Let Not me read that. that. One. It's next. Oh, that's just random? Yeah. <laughs> and we'll go to it. The last one. Yeah. One more? Oh, post man. it up like this. <laughs> yeah. I said yes. Girl, this is a big deal. Why did you just do a story? That's it. That's it? It's a short story. Isn't it? Isn't it? Wow. Well, that's well, I mean, that's, that's huge. Thank God. Thank God. I needed that after all the vouch last week. You know, I'm thrown off because we started early. How long have we been going? We've been going uh, two hours and forty five minutes. Mm. How nice. How nice. Lovely. I'll get home at a normal time. It's mm -hmm. not even three o'clock yet. So we'll do vosh and then we'll call it a day. Sounds good. It's but, fucking nice out. But I'm telling you guys, those of you guys who are tired of it, it's good. Oh, boy. There's updates. Oh, oh boy. Oh, jeez. I think it's pretty sussy. That being said, I need to pee again, so I'll be right back. Zach, you ready? Drop the beat selector. Every gal of Wombat, me have the style and pattern to make the gal of Wombat. Pussy off the happy, pussy not the sad. Pussy off the climax, tight pussy off the half. Jiggy the wicked slam. Look up me Talawat and pan it long. If you're looking for your one minute, man. God damn, she get here on. God damn. Big bomber class before busting on me head. I sexy girl, girl as she off in me head. Free. When me fuck pussy, uh, pussy uh, Oh, got it. Sorry, what? Oh. No. No? No, we weren't doing, we weren't doing anything. Yeah, well, do we just, you know, we're just jamming a little bit. Just dancing a little bit? 5 -0, 5, -0, 5, -0, 5 -0. Is that okay? 5 -0. Okay. I mean, I don't think... He's a boy. Hmm. I don't want to push Okay, all right. Ugh. Damn it. I wanted to do this at the camera. Missing. During the, that was the drop. Just ruined the vibe. Just awful. I wanted to do this, dude. I'm still going to do this. I'll bring the vibe up. Ready? He just went into the bathroom. Let's start again. He's gone. Ian? <laughs> I was going to do that during the song, but uh, the moment's passed. Hit it again. He's in the bathroom, bro. He won't know. That was good. I guess I could just like read some of these donations from all these kind viewers. Like, yeah, give Dave? all a bunch of money to yeah, us to mm -hmm. do the show and then, so that we can sustain it. You know, I, I was starting to... Starting to wake up a little. Yeah. I'm just tired again. Yeah. Let's just wrap this shit up. <sighs> Dude, I got two hours of sleep last night. That oh. little? Yeah. Pretty oh. much. I mean, I didn't count, but I felt like two hours. What the fuck? I'm well, sleepy too. Were you just like up or you just couldn't sleep? I or? couldn't sleep, dude. Yeah. I'm sorry about that, brother. 
I'll sleep. Go home and take a little nap when we get done. All right, I'm down. No, but if, nippy, but if he naps nappy. now, he's gonna be fucked up. Take a little no. nap. I'm a you big proponent a... of the power nap. Yeah. But like, oh. uh, but like that. Will, will you be tired for later? No, I just need like a 20 minute thing to charge my nap batteries, and then I'll be so like, you won't. Again. You won't have the like fucking three hour nap. Where am I? Shit. No, I, I set a timer. I'm good. I'm I'm principled. Ah, it. okay. Very good. Okay. Yeah. You got to be principled, otherwise you will be disoriented when you wake up. Okay. I feel like this conversation is putting people uh, to a nap right put now. A, putting us to sleep right now. Yeah. So Dave donated $150 and said balls. What do we think about that? He just said balls? Yeah. Well, Thank you, Dave. Did, did he say did, shout out? Did he say these balls? No, just balls. Oh. Wait. In here it says 100 pounds H3H3. H3, that's... That's just the, uh, an emoji. Oh, it was the emoji. Got it. Well, thanks, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Thanks, Thank you, Dave. thanks Dave. Balls, 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 back balls right you. back to you. Uh, Rachel threw us 20 Australian balls. dollars. So can I please get a shout out for my 31st birthday today? I'm officially two decades too old for Vouch, allegedly. 31. What a shame. The shame, Fuck Rachel. You. I'm sorry. Also, you're not a horse. Right. You know. Presumably. Uh, it's possible. Oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, boy. Who knows? Uh, what else we got here? Uh, Megan Johnston threw us 10 bucks and said, My shiny teeth in me. Love you, AB. Oh, he's not here. Yeah. People are asking if he got veneers. I, uh, no, I don't believe so. He got, um, he's doing uh, Invisalign. That might have been what you uh, noticed different about his teeth. It almost looks like it says balls on AB's background. Hmm. Balls. Oh, true. Kinda, right? If you just fuck wow. uh, uh, Davey. Is he in the Navy? Us 50 uh, R dollars. What are R dollars? Is oh, they say I live Roblox? in Brazil and the option for free membership is not available in my other account. <laughs> I have YouTube Premium for a year. Oh. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It seems. Because they didn't even make like a big announcement about it or anything, um, so it seems like maybe they're just kind of testing this out. Yeah. Right now, um, I suspect it will be expanded. For anybody that doesn't know what we're talking about, if you missed the other day, uh, YouTube has recently allowed people with premium to gift a membership, kind of like how uh, you can gift memberships on Twitch. So, if you happen to have YouTube Premium, um, See if that's an option for you. Davy, are you in the Navy? Davy in the Navy? Like the Billy Joel song, you know? I don't know. Piano Man? No, no I don't know. Sorry. Name is uh, and Daphne Blunt <laughs> donated $50 and said, Ethan, SOS, I'm in a movie and was asked by production to go on the whatever podcast to do promo. What movie? And what movie? I'm obligated, but I don't want it. My character in the film is an OnlyFan Instagram baddie. I won't be able to take the misogyny directed at me. I need debate tips, please. Uh, what are you doing that you're contractually obligated to go on? That's Something like that. Weird. That's on like, the whatever that's like podcast? even worse than going undercover with the mob. Yeah. Is it for the uh, skill house? That's movie? the um. <laughs> that's the one with like the weird wow nerd dude who just talks shit to a bunch of women. That, yep. And they have yeah. the same conversation every, every time. Bro. I literally saw. A few days ago, the title of their show was "Does Body Count Matter?" Yeah, he's like, obsessed. Oh my god, dude! Or maybe he's not even obsessed. Maybe he's just cynically realizes that his audience just wants to hear this. But how many thing times do they even talk about body count? Jeez. This might be a so. Bit, what's your body count like? I think he might be one of those people that are definitely doing it for the money. Because yeah. I think he was normal before, but I'm not sure. So maybe he's just. I think, I think he saw. That I think he's he was a big a prankster, or right? Something. Yeah. So, I think he's lost in the sauce. That probably happens a lot. They grift mm -hmm. and then they get lost completely. Yeah. Get yeah. sucked in. Yeah, big time. Yeah. Oh, thank you for the gifted um, thing you did, Mark Schreiber. So let's talk about Vosh. Vosh, he promised Vyash. us a update video, and he did post an update video. Now. <sighs> I did not need a two hour video. It's like two hours long. Um, in my opinion, the video should just be like, you know what? I have issues. 
it's not normal. And frankly, I, I probably should get help for it. And that's what I'm going to do, you know? Yeah. But instead he spent two hours trying to talk about how he, 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 he's a really, he is a, a great speaker. He does have a talent for, for orating in another age. He could have been Adolf Hitler probably. Um, he could have easily. He could be. He, he's probably hiling Hitler back in uh, alternate universe as we speak. Um, but instead, instead of that, we got two hours of him explaining that he's just edgy, essentially. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, you watch the whole thing, AB. If you had to summarize it. Yeah, so he goes by clip by clip explaining it, and he says that these clips make him cringe and that they've haunted him since he said them. They were most of them around 2018, 2019, and he didn't realize the harm in what he was saying. He didn't even realize how bad that it looked to audiences outside of his own until he debated it with a bigger creator. And so he's trying to justify them. He says that, that he, they were cringe, they were bad, but he is not a pedo, pretty much. I promise you guys, I am not a pedo. I want to make this very clear. Dude, you lost when you're already in that. <laughs> I promise you guys, everybody, listen, I'm not a pedo. Please. Um, here's the video. Let me pull it up. Just to give you an, an idea of you know, what we're dealing with here. That would make sense, all that kind Too of long. stuff. That he was edgy back in the days, but... We did see your hard Not drive. Not with the fucking... That's we what saw it, your hard drive. That's what I keep, I keep coming back to. On the so. hard drive. And there's, there's, If he had made this video two months ago, it probably would have been a good move, right? To just yeah. like all at once address all these old clips <laughs> of him that have been floating around. But like now the circumstance is pretty different. It's pretty different now, isn't it? And there's more things coming up now. Someone found what is in the video folder. People found out the tiny oh, no. sliver of the thumbnail. I saw that, and I wasn't. I looked into it a bit, and I wasn't sure if it was something or nothing. I don't know either, but <sighs> I saw like a short clip, and now people are digging into that. I think that I watched the more. same thing you saw. You yeah. Saw. Oh boy. So, but I mean, listen. At the end of the day, the folder kind of we you got you can't let him take you on this trip, this two hour journey of um, interweaving excuses and contextual stuff. None of that. I mean, listen, the folder just end the story. Uh, let me just play you guys here. Let me. I, Cheers, my horse. You know what? I want to show you guys the new stuff before. Let me let me pepper his excuses with some new stuff. <clears throat> First, let's remember what I like to call the one two punch. Guys, right now, we've all jerked at Dalali at some point or another. We've all. Well, you don't have a penis. We have all. That's, we have at some point in our lives been going fucking crazy on some hentai site and we've been fucking stro <laughs> stroking as hard and fast as we can and then after we nut we go back look over our history chat and we go like oh jeez oh jeez oh, oh boy some of these girls looked pretty young okay I don't give a fuck all right that yeah yeah um what would what was his excuse for that one but anyway. <laughs> Then you, you take this clip and then you connect the dots and it's GG. Nice. Okay. Next question. Simulated uh, child porn lolly, lolly stuff. Uh, I think it's pretty sussy. What is that? I think that if you have an interest in that sort of stuff, you should definitely be checking yourself as to why. You know, like uh, the, the thing that really bothers me about this shit, apart from the fact that anytime you want to look at like hentai on a hentai site, you have to like negate the tag lolly and thus 50 so he says here interestingly he goes back that he negates the tag lolly but his excuse for having the lolly stuff what? is that he was just downloading stuff willy-nilly from this website willy-nilly will it be wobbly <laughs> i think it's pretty sussy percent of the site's content the thing that bothers yeah. me is people who pretend there's no relationship whatsoever between like drawn lolly shit and actual attraction to children. Because of course there's a relationship between those things. Ridiculous to pretend otherwise. So, I mean, but let me show you the new stuff that had, right my, We've all jerked had my jaw on the floor. Um, uh, let's see. He did not address the context here. 
Can I open this? Oh, yeah, dude. Okay, so this is all new stuff. This one is not that bad, but it's just another one. I mean, it's bad. For anybody, it's bad. For him, it's not that bad. But it's just another on the giant pile. This is new. I've always wanted to discuss this really interesting article I read about the sexual dynamics of pre-colonial Hawaiian civilization because they sure had no problem fucking kids and the anthropological evidence seemed to suggest there wasn't a culture of child abuse. Oh, boy. New as in, I'm just seeing this for the first time, yeah. It's from 2018. Not that long ago. What? Again, he has a... uh, Persistent interest. Here he is. This one is nuts. Yeah. So now, presumably, it's alleged that this is him. I haven't seen him try to deny it. This is his user, Irish Laddie. That's what he was known as. Yeah. Before he switched his name to Vosh. I think in part he changed his name because of all these scandals, right? That's what I read. And um, here is a backup of an AMA request in which he wanted to ask people um, he was seeking AMA request an active participant in bestiality as long as we're keeping with the theme of sexual deviancy so he wants to talk to people who are participating in bestiality and sexual deviancy first question how do you cope with yourself when you discover your fetish Two, do you feel sick or worthless or anything like that? Three, do you agree with how society and law views bestiality? Four, do you find different animals more or less attractive? Or is it a blanket thing like dogs are better than horses, which are better than pigs or something? Or is it just animals in general? Have you told any friends and family? How did they react? This, again, when you put it all together, it's crazy. This, the picture is wild, dude. But that's not even the worst. Here's a comment in that thread. Oh, and as an honest aside question, how the fuck does horse girl sex work or horse gay gentleman sex? I understand what happens. I just don't understand how it happens. Getting fucked by a horse. <laughs> That's it, man. He continues. Um, he says, uh, oh, this is from our sex. Or that was the AMA was there. How so? It had um, brown shoulders. I mean, I like girls having sex with horses, and that wasn't there, but, you know, within reason. What was the context of that? I feel like something's cut out here. It's just so weird. Cheers, my shot. horse. I'm not sure. Let me look. Yeah, I feel like I saw one with more context, but anyway. Oh, uh, boy. Um, he says, he responded to another person, Oh, well played. Would you suck off a horse? Get the fuck out. Okay, and then another one. Okay, I see you're into some weird-ass bestiality stuff. Be honest with me here. Would you take it in the ass from a horse? Well, I don't want to jump to conclusions. <laughs> That's why I'm showing all this. How are some of you unironically mad? You're such losers. It's just a horse. Mods, you can change it back. Thank you for keeping it going for a while, though. I like the horse posting. It was a good era. So there's an AMA of him asking intimate details about sexual deviance and bestiality and seeming to show some interest in it. He says in his new video, by the way, that he's done with the underage uh, jokes that he gets from chat. They could continue with the horse jokes. Those are funny. He thinks those are funny, but not the underage. Because jokes. for him, it's like, I not I don't want to fuck kids. I just want to fuck horses. Yeah. And like, that's not as bad, frankly. Yep. But it's still really fucked up. Like the horse thing by itself would destroy most people. But if he can convince people, no, I just want to fuck horse animals, not kids. That's a huge dub for him. Mm -hmm. Never before was that a dub. <sighs> Until now. Hello, Vosh. You but, have to pull it <laughs> with the horse stuff. Pal. There, here is a Discord message between him and Poppy that I had not seen. This is the girl that he. Um, sexually harassed in discord he said to her poppy said she kept commenting how young i looked and scolding my ex which made made it a hundred times weirder Vosh responded i do imagine you looking like a lolly now remember this is the girl that he's pursuing aggressively and he imagines her like a lolly 
And we're not talking about crossing guards in England. Here's the worst one. This okay. is the one that put my jaw on the floor. Okay. I, I was speechless, literally. <sighs> this one's pretty bad. I mean, this one's disturbing, I'm going to be real. So yeah. step away if you need to. Um, here he is talking in a Discord chat. I'm going to read the chat. <coughs> yeah. He starts off by saying, if you really want to fuck children, wait 20 years for VR lolly porn and don't tell anybody you use it. He continues, and especially don't defend it online. Well, there's, he made it, he broke his own rule. And then he says, that's the best we can all hope for. Oh. Oopsie. Well, there it is. The we part is crushing me. Like I was reading this and reading this. And then when I hit that last line, I was like, Ooh, nice. what? One more time. That's, he says, wait 20 years for lolly VR porn. That's Bussy. the best that we can hope for. Bussy. Now, he could mean we as society, yeah, we as society would benefit from people just doing that instead of abusing kids, which I think we've pretty much dis disabused or disavowed. Uh, Sussy. Disavailed, I'm trying to think of a word, but uh, that that's not even true because the consumption of CP drawn or yeah. otherwise only encourages these deviant behavior more. Yeah, and Bosch is like, we with that. He said that. He said that. Yeah. And so I, I, I don't know. This one really fucked me up. I don't know how you, I don't know how you beat that one. I'm sure if he had to explain it, he'll just say, I was talking about society, but I don't buy that. He has a section in his video about Discord messages. This one wasn't in there. He said that he left some out because either they were fake or he doesn't remember the context because it's been so long. They were fake? All right. I'm curious which ones are fake. I'd like for what? you to point those ones out. Yeah. If you really want to fuck children, wait 20 years for VR lolly porn and don't tell anybody you use it and especially don't defend it online. That's the best we can all hope for. Um, again, you, you added this to the pile. And it's like, uh, I don't know. So let's see what he has to say. Um, let's see if he's gonna convince me. Now, without further ado, let's get to the content. We'll start with the absolute worst of it, the monstrously stupid argument that I made way back when I first started streaming that has since haunted me and irreparably tarnished my reputation. Now, this clip is the one that I see cited most often when people are accusing me of being a pedophile. That's not even a little surprising to me, though. It sounds pretty bad. In fact, and this is going to be a real hot take, I have yet to hear a convincing moral or legal argument as to why possession of child pornography should yeah, be illegal. Let's, let's how he labels it. He says, this is the out-of-context clip. So he's still trying to do this, this silly game, but let's see. Actual child pornography. Like I said, uh, pretty bad. This clip is from right after I started streaming, so a significant portion of my career as a live streamer has been spent providing context for... Yeah. Hitting the ground running. Right. <laughs> With that one. For the clip over and over to many people and many audiences. I've addressed it so many times that it's, it's, it's turned into like a, a kind of running joke in my community. Very like funny. A, 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 I love jokes about pedophilia. Those are my favorite. Right. Me and my I'm... community, you know, the ones who are right, who will defend me no matter what, that are the ones that are defending Lolly. We love that joke. That's our favorite. Cursed to keep walking into over and over and it hits me in the head. I often see people outside of my community, people who have seen this clip, but not seen me address it, mock the idea that any context that Go ahead. I or anyone else could provide Again, could possibly- Again, just me two hours. Give me the context and stop with the fucking grandstanding, bro. Explain away too something damn long. that sounds that bad. When they see me or my fans- If he really uh, wanted to convince anyone he knows nobody's gonna watch two fucking hours of this shit. 
you know, let's get it snappy. 20 minutes max. And now he can say, oh, you didn't watch the whole video? No, AB watched the whole video. Yeah. I've watched enough. Frankly, you know, I, I, we know what's in it. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know? I've watched it like three times. So yeah. I'm like, I'm still not fucking getting it. What am I missing? What's new here? <laughs> Built the same shit pretty much. I feel like it was meant for his audience. Yes. He, he says at the end, he goes, I'm sorry to my fans that I made it so hard to be a fan of me. So I think he knows that no one's going to fuck with him after the recent shit. And he's just telling his audience, don't leave pretty much. It's, yeah, it's an audience retention play. Yeah. And it seems like for the most part, it's worked. 22,000 likes, the vast majority of likes, um, 400,000 views. Um, and most of the comments seem to be supportive. Yeah, when I checked, they were supportive. Yeah. So I find that all pretty fucking wild. But go on. Uh, say that this or any other clip has been taken out of context. Uh, it comes across to them as an effort to shoo away legitimate suspicion. You know, chastising people for having an opinion on something that looks bad. Like... You see a clip Bro, that looks bad. Bro, just show me what the fucking clip was out of context. He's doing this on purpose. Of me. And then I, or a fan of mine, comes in and we're like, uh, no, you know, you need to familiarize yourself with, with like 50 hours of stream lore before you can have an opinion on that. I have seen people weaponize calls for context in that way. So I don't fault others for being like kind of suspicious of that or, or or not taking it very seriously some people are just gonna tune out right there now don't get me wrong bro clip... when are you gonna make a fucking point what the fuck get on with it he says this is out of context i'm waiting is bad it's uh rhetorically bad it's logically bad it's it's obviously optically bad and <laughs> the broader <laughs> argument that it's told from are bad in all of those ways too um, but as for what the clip and the argument that it's pulled from say about me, uh, I would like to the make the case, if I may, that it does implicate me, but not as a pedophile, rather uh, as a, a fucking idiot debate bro brain poison. I mean, it does both. It does both. It does both. Jackass. Because I took a perfectly fine argument. I think that... You know, when I explain it, it'll the, the argument itself will make perfect explain sense. Explain it! Uh, and I explain it now! What is all this? What's the point of this video? What is all this right now I'm watching? Well, we're waiting. How am I supposed to find the context, bro? I ruined it with edgy, contrarian, devil's advocate nonsense. So let me explain. Please. I just started live streaming and I was. Far, far more argumentative and belligerent and arrogant then than I am now, if you can believe that. Over the background of my mediocre Dead Cells gameplay, an argument with chat on the subject of foreign labor and unethical production was getting increasingly heated. Just in case anyone watching doesn't know, many of the products that we buy from American companies... On oh, he's not going to do this whole fucking thing. Jesus. Who's watching this? I can't finish it. I can't. I, I feel I have too much sympathy for the audience. <laughs> I I just feel bad for everybody who's trying have to watch this bullshit. Um, getting fucked. Should by I horse. should I keep watching? Maybe. I mean, what the fuck? I, I, like again, again, it's the same thing. I feel like he's already justified this before. We've watched his justification. It's the same shit, pretty much. There's a yeah. few points where he talks about like uh, the context is cut off of one of these clips, and so he goes, "Here's the full context." Um, but we did we did show that one, so I don't know if he was referring to someone else with that. We speech. showed all the context, people. Anyway, Vosh, I'm gonna speed you up, okay? An American so store I, show. I'm gonna give you a shot to speak for yourself to the people, to defend yourself. I'm gonna put you at 1.5. You are talking kind of slow, so it should work out. Let's see. Are produced through supply chains that take advantage of what we could consider uh, unethical business practices, you know, like bad workers' rights stuff. Often this takes the form of sweatshop labor, a practice near ubiquitous, for example, in the garment industry, where sewing work is difficult to fully automate. This isn't just a foreign problem, though. Uh, there are garment sweatshops where Bro. workers make less than $2 an hour, operating right now in Los Angeles, for as an example. It's just it's a broad issue. But American companies profit from even worse abuses. The mining of cobalt and the harvesting of chocolate and palm I don't oil. want to hear Those about cobalt mining from him anymore. For their use, 
uh, of, of child labor, frequently child slavery, frankly, you know, in practice, often just child slavery. American companies profit enormously from this because uh, these, you know, abusive work conditions, it, it keeps the cost of harvesting materials, of acquiring raw product relatively low. And as a consequence of this, the suffering of children is built into the fabric of our economy, of exploited workers broadly. But we've heard him do all this. Yeah. Just talking yeah. at greater length it's, and just filibustering harder. It's, again, the all lives matter argument being applied to CP pretty much. And he says he doesn't believe this way anymore, but this is what he was... I don't need to watch it. I know exactly what he's yeah. going to fucking say, and it's just so boring. He has the... If you want to go to the lolly clip, he adju uh, addresses that. Sorry, one. listen, Vosh. I know if I know you and your fans are going to look at this and be like, he didn't even watch it. I know your argument. I know what you're saying. I've watched you already explain it a thousand different ways. I don't need to watch you filibustering it for 10 fucking minutes to my poor audience who they come to us for entertainment. They come to watch. I try to actually make a point or do something. What's your argument? <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have to say. <laughs> all right, so this one is interesting, actually. We caught, we caught him out a little bit. Here he is uh, describing the, we've all jerked it to the lolly clip. So let's see what, what's the context here. All right, next clip. We've all jerked it to lolly at some point or another. We have at some point in our lives been going fucking crazy on some hentai site and we've been fucking stro <laughs> stroking as hard and fast as we can and then after we nut, we go back, look over our history chat and we go like, oh, geez. Oh, boy. Some of these girls looked pretty young. Yeah, this one definitely sounds rougher than the last two clips, uh, uh, but it's, uh, you know, it's a bit. It's a joke. No, a bad it's... Joke. What the fuck's the joke? All right, go on, go on, go on. I can explain it. I don't think that'll make it any funnier. Uh, the intended comedy element of an indiscriminate whirlwind masturbator being used to draw attention to a problem, that problem being the ubiquity of lolicon in hentai sites. I, I, I don't really know how anyone could get like a serious vibe oh, from that. Boy. Like there's any kind of like, you know, grave point being made. Again, it's not a funny what? joke at all. I mean, I could. What the fuck? That's. I think it's pretty sussy. That's just bullshit. Hey guys, nah. I was just kidding on that one. Nah. What? Nah. You just don't get it, dude. What? I was you're just. You're just. I you're saw, too stupid. You're I, too much of a cretin, a mongrel, if you will. And I saw uh, a lot of people like up and down the internet saying that they thought this video was good. That's not like just out of context. Then it's he's just adding lore at this point. Just lying. I was kidding. Yeah, I was it was kidding. actually commentary you about thought, Lolly. You thought you caught him out, admitting to watching Lolly, but really, he was doing activism. He was. Mm. You caught yourself. Out. He was raising awareness, Ethan. He's like, God, who's been to Lolly.com and down and gone to this subgenre and they start describing his preference? Isn't this even the clip where he shushes his girlfriend when uh, tries to interrupt him? Uh, might have been. Shh. Yeah, yeah. Shh. you don't have a dick. Shh. Yeah, she's Shh. like, don't, 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 and he's like, you don't have a dick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's so furious. <laughs> we gotta get through this message. I will say the only thing that I I didn't initially see was in the Mister Girl call when he was uh, debating that one dude. He did hang up on him, and he did say that guy is either a pedo or he's really good at acting like one. By the way, YouTube. I just said lolly.com. It's not a real website. Don't fuck with me. This is all it is. Sussy. I didn't know that when I said it, <laughs> but I wanted to make sure. <laughs> it's nothing. This is the whole website. Okay. They're obviously looking for a high bidder, Vosh, if you're open. <laughs> they're they're parking on this beautiful domain. We've all jerked at the lolly at some point or another. So go on, Vosh. Tell me how funny the joke was or Cringe whatever. Cringe looking at it. It's great evidence against me if the point that people are trying to make is that I was or indeed still am cringe. So a point to their no, favor on that No, that's one, not the point. <laughs> I don't care if you're cringe, bro. I... Who's this? Well, one? that's also. Being a pedo is pretty cringe. Yeah, you could be. I mean, that's one that's <laughs> not the great the great charge yeah, yeah. here. Right. Question. Yeah. It's not Where we're not debating if he's you're cringe. Right. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. <laughs> you know, that's let's. Not up for debate. Uh, this is <laughs> right. Sure idea that pedophilia is just another sexual orientation like citation needed like being gay or straight oh my gosh stop discrimination citation needed it's time to be more tolerant of demons who feed on kids yeah. i do take issue with the moral outrage here 
child sexual abuse is widely underreported. It's a huge this problem. It's shit incredibly again, damaging man. to the psyche of young people, and as they grow older, it can lead to many negative mental health consequences. However, this bro is like, I'm going to react to a clip of a conservative um, conspiracy theorist raving about how liberals are sexualizing children. I'm going to respond to this by comparing CP to cobalt <laughs> production. That'll t that'll show him. That's his S in the sleeve. You eat chocolate? Mm. <laughs> well, then what I do is not that bad, is it? Also, this is a new clip, right? I haven't seen this one. I actually haven't seen this. Yeah, it's a new one. Thank you. No, I've seen this clip, but I haven't oh. seen this context. So I, I I'm actually am interested. Okay. This is the one where he, yeah. Pedophilia, to the extent that we are calling them demons, <laughs> probably <clears throat> discourages pedophiles, people who feel attraction towards children, from getting the help they could need to keep themselves from abusing children. By demonizing them to this extent, you are increasing the likelihood of child sexual abuse. I don't want to be that guy, you know, but like, the ponytail scream, sc is screaming to me. <laughs> you know. And not, there's nothing wrong You're with not ponytails. There's me. nothing wrong with You're ponytails. Not that guy. Although, <laughs> ponytail, huh? <laughs> he wants to be the horse. Um, I don't know. This cut. Fucked by a horse. This haircut that he has, and oh, I love ponytails, uh, you know, in, in a normal setting. But it's speaking, it's doing talking. Sussy. It's sussy. I can't say that. I mean, it's, you know. Because it wasn't just the okay. All right, maybe I'm off base. Maybe we, maybe not. <laughs> not demonize pedophiles. Demonize child sexual abuse and encourage pedophiles to get help. Now, if you've got pedophiles who have never uh, sexually abused a child, but they're advocating for it, they're like, "Yeah, I've never done it, but is there anything really that wrong with lowering the age of consent to 13?" Then of course, fuck them. Like fucking shut them up. Just fucking smack them. But. By and large, statistically speaking, there are 370 people watching right now. I'd be willing to bet that at least 20 or 30 of them experience habitual sexual attraction towards children. It's surprisingly common. To those of you who do to an extent that you feel as though uh, it may be like a problem, please, just get some fucking help, my dude. There's we saw wrong all with this you. and we're like, oh, that was good. We're like, that mm -hmm. was good that you said that, but something changed. It was a person. We can't help the shit that we're into. We can help our actions. There's nothing feels weird, man, about this. You can't help the things that you're into. If you realize as you're like 20 years old that you have a thing for kids, what the fuck do you do? Commit fucking Sudoku? Do you just stop existing right then and there? Do you talk? Again, this goes back to my question about like, I have a feeling, that I don't understand the psychology of it, that the attraction to children is in itself immoral. Because the attraction is to the power and control and like the stealing of innocence and stuff. Otherwise, I don't understand. I don't understand at all. So like, is, is that a real person? I don't know. I haven't heard from anyone who's like, I'm just, I was just born this way. I'm attracted to kids. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm 20 years old. Um, this is just who I am and there's nothing to do about it. Like that, is that a real thing? Who is that person? I don't know. I'd like to know if it is or not. I'm genuinely curious. I think that only comes after they get caught. That's usually what they'll try to say in court or whatever. Like part, part of being attracted to kids, I feel like is not, it's the willingness to do it. And part of it is the I don't know. It seems pathological. Like, it's not that simple. Kids loved Hitler. It's just really twisted. I don't know. Ask yourself in front of a car? No. You have to live your life anyway. And you have to recognize, if you're a responsible person, like, hey, ev I like, even if I just keep this to myself, like, this might affect people someday, you know? I should probably maybe see what I can do about that. Talk to somebody. Okay. Like, this wasn't the worst clip, though. This is this one was mild compared to the other stuff Sussy. we saw. Here he is talking about. Um, I thought that it was this one, AB. It's CI, C1. Uh, yeah. Let me see this part. We've all jerked at the lolly at some point or another. 
We have at Wait, some I, point. I, I didn't already watch yeah, this? That's when you watch, and then under that's where we... Where okay, we watched it. so here we are watching it in the full context, but wait, there's something missing we from have his all, video. That's, we have at some point in our lives been going <laughs> fucking crazy on some hentai site, and we've been fucking stro <laughs> stroking as hard and fast as we can, and then after we nut, we go back, look over our history chat, and we go like, oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Some of these girls looked pretty young. Okay, I don't give a fuck, all right? That um, He cut out the part when he showed it. He cut out the part where he says, I don't give a fuck. Kind of interesting. You know? I mean, it's not like... We've all jerked it to Lolly. Changed the full context of it, but it certainly doesn't help. And he's not going to be able to say he did it for brevity because the fucking video is two hours long of him just rambling. At some point or another. We have at some point in our lives been going fucking crazy on some hentai site, and we've been fucking stro <laughs> stroking as hard and fast as we can, and then after we nut, we go back, look over our history chat, and we go like, oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Some of these girls looked pretty young. Yeah, this one... I mean, it does, it does change it a bit, right? How? No, we have... Okay, I don't give a fuck. That right? Oh, boy. Some of these girls yeah, looked pretty young. Yeah, it seems more proud. It's more like, yeah, I do that, and yeah. I'm cool with it. It's like, I mean, you should include that part if you're trying to be, address it totally, you know. It's a little trickery. Okay, yep. I don't give a fuck, all right? That uh, Okay, I don't know. What was his context for that one? Did he, like, the watching the lolly one? I don't know. Here he is, um, unironically hot... I don't know. Are any of these worth watching? I'd Maybe. say this is the these last two. I okay. stopped it a little more. Uh, on to the next one. Yeah. Okay. So this one actually is bad, and I've apologized for it uh, a few times. Basically, here I'm doing that thing that guys do, where uh, you know a hot female teacher will be arrested for raping a student, and the guys in the Facebook comment section will be like, uh, you know, where was she when I was that age? Could have used me some of that. And, and, and basically, like, the thing they do where they downplay and trivialize the sexual abuses of the teacher because they personally think it would have been cool if they could have slept with their hot teachers back when they were 14. And yeah, when I was 14, I also wanted to fuck my hot teachers, obviously. Uh, but, you know, 14-year-olds are idiots. Their uh, interests, desires, and preferences shouldn't really be accounted as a, a solid moral argument to, uh, to anything. So this screenshot isn't really missing any context. Uh, it actually is shitty, but I've since come around on this, and uh, I've recognized how bad it is to downplay or idealize that kind of thing. So you, What uh, do you mean? He you came know. around to understanding that it's fucking... Weird to say unironically hot to a minor having sex with a teacher, bro. You, what year was that from? That's that um screenshot. Um, how old is that? Shit? It's Here. either Here, 2018, yeah, 2018. Almost everything is 2018. There's like a couple 2017, a couple 2019. How old was he in 2018? Uh, let's see again. It's the totality, dude. It's like one, two, this, that, that. We we could do it. We could look past it. He was roughly 23, 24. Fucked an adult as a minor. Unironically hot. God. He really put his whole body and soul out there to support that. Uh. Um, okay. So what's he what's his excuse? To just he everybody wants to fuck their teacher? I'm, this is what I'm saying. Why I had to watch it a few times. Back when I just they don't were fucking get his fourteen point. with like half this shit. It just seems like he's just oh, I was just being edgy and trying to say the most crazy thing I could to get a reaction out of people. But I was trying to make a point that, well, in most of these instances, that everything is bad. This dude said I everyone jerks off at Lolly was a joke. What the fuck's the joke? I don't and, give a fuck. Yeah, when I was fourteen, I okay, also let me skip forward. Go ahead. moral argument to uh, to anything. So this screenshot isn't really missing any context. Uh, oh, it good. actually is shitty, but I've since come around on this, and uh, I've recognized how bad it is to downplay or idealize that kind of thing. So, uh, you know, I've been consistent about that for years now on my channel. And chat. that's fine if we didn't see a lolly folder and everything else. Um, and then there's one more here. Bosch talks about the recent folder leak. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, so after all that, now we, we finally arrive uh, at this 
most recent drama, the, the incident that lit a fire under drama YouTube and is, to my mind, the only thing I've done in the past four years that actually, actually looks bad. It's pretty fucking embarrassing to say the least. So there I was uh, streaming a few weeks ago, browsing a men's fashion site. I wanted to look at an image more closely, so I right clicked to open the image in a new window, uh, but then accidentally instead clicked the save as tab in the right click drop down menu. Uh, now because I am, as has been extensively demonstrated in this video, a fucking idiot. My that's a, that's just a defense I, I recall quite frequently too, is I'm just an idiot, you guys. I'm not a pedo, I'm just an idiot. Mm -hmm. Which again, is much better than being a pedo. Even fucking a horse, like we said, it's way better. You'd be like the dumbest horse fucker ever. That's way better than being a pedo. Sussy. Somehow. My preferred strategy for keeping my desktop clean is to keep a single big folder called To Be Sorted, where every image, document, music file, whatever, I happen to download, gets sent. Uh, th this is an insane thing to have as a live streamer, but, you know, there you go. It, it's me. So I Just hit me. save as, and a half second later, uh, a preview window of the folder and its contents popped up on stream. And now, of course, that folder had porn in it. So I immediately ended the stream and deleted the VOD. Even if it weren't just embarrassing to make a mistake like that as one of the largest political live streamers on the platform, it's TOS. Uh, you got to delete the VOD. So uh, I, I, I stream with no delay and folks are always screen capturing the feed. So I, I knew the contents of my to be sorted folder uh, and the preview window were irrevocably public knowledge. But uh, to be honest... That didn't really bother me too much. Uh, it was embarrassing, sure, but... Bro, what the fuck? I don't... Mostly be... <sighs> What's his point? What does he say? When does he get to the point? Bro's just yapping, to be honest. He's just yapping. What is he trying to hypnotize people into, like... Thinking that he's not a... F deviant it's pretty free. easy for people to lie about what it contained to stir up drama or they do that? cause me trouble or for any other reason so when later on in that stream one or two people came into chat and they said uh hey there was lolly in there and, you know i figured they were just causing trouble and i banned them of course we know where this is going uh, by the next day, I had learned from what felt like the entire goddamn internet, the two of the images. Bro, there's no shot that as soon as that happened, he didn't go straight in that folder and think, what did I just show everybody? Yeah. There's no, sh the first thing that motherfucker did is turned off his stream, which I get if it's porn, not deviant weird shit. Mm -hmm. He goes, you go in the folder and you say, what did I just do? I need to understand the damage. He knows exactly what he leaked. He looked at each fucking one of them and said, started being like, okay, I got to explain this shit. Right. He's a smart guy. Anyone would do Anyone, that, though. Even yeah. an idiot so, would do yeah. that. Mm -hmm. So, like, his, his, he's like, I just deleted it and was like, hum -de -de I'm going to go start a stream again. Bullshit, bro. Bullshit. Fuck that. In my folder preview window... Uh, we're actually from a well-known Lolicon artist and therefore definitely intended to be lolly shit, which has to be the worst possible way to find out about that sort of thing. Now, so he, way, he just found out about it. Also, the way he's trying to like kind of change it. Oh, these pictures were made by a lolly artist. It's, it's lolly. It was lolly. Here's it's, the thing. He's really... um hedging his argument on the notion that his audience have not seen the pictures in that. Right. Because there's a ton of room. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you have that Trump soundbite of him? Being, oh, I'm just finding out for the first time. That's him. That's Vosh when he finds Lolly. Dude, that's my favorite clip of all time. That was Ian sent that note. That was very good. Oh, that was you, Dan. He's oh. Yeah. That was great, Dan. I'm just, uh, it's Lolly. Oh. You just died? Wow. <laughs> There's no shot, that's true. 
But yeah, a lot of this hinges on the fact that his audience is not willing to go look at the images and see what they are. Because again, when you do that, I don't think there's a single person that hasn't gone and done that and be like, oh, fuck this. You know what I mean? Sussy. And he kind of brushes it off too at a point because he's kind of like, oh, some photos going around weren't even the right ones. There's just some were just completely made up. Which ones then? If right. that helps you, tell me which. Right. No. Obviously, the accusation here isn't just that I had those images saved. That part's true. Not really an accusation. But also that I must have known uh, that they were Lolicon and saved them because they were Lolicon. Now, the obvious and predictable but nonetheless true response from me is that no, I didn't know that. And that must not have been the uh, impression I got from those two drawings, because if I had gotten that impression, then I wouldn't have saved them. You know, I mean, drawings are... A Dude, saving them? He must have loved those images. Getting an impression from an image. Mm -hmm. Also, it's like, it looks... It, there's no... It looks like young... I look at that shit. Yeah, yeah that's, that's just... Yeah. It's uh, no question. Again, this works if you haven't seen the images. Right. So mm -hmm. If you haven't seen the images, then you can believe this. You need to know an image to save it. You gotta love an image you gotta to save it. You gotta love the image yeah. to save it. Yeah. And art styles and body proportions vary massively, even for characters. He makes it sound like he looked at it for like half a second. And ambiguously adults. That doesn't mean lolly shit isn't a thing or a problem. I've bitched about it being a problem like a lot on stream. It just means that carelessly or inattentively failing to notice it isn't exactly impossible. Yeah, I, I know what some people are gonna say, you know, no, uh, you must have known. There's no way you didn't know. And like, like what am I gonna do? Make a, a, a fucking evidentiary argument here? You know, like I'm not putting up the images so we can argue about the, the pixels or the proportions or whatever. I, I know fully well that like 99.9% .9 of people who have heard about this drama haven't seen the images, nor do I think- And that is so much to your benefit, my friend. Yeah. Right. That helps, that's the only thing saving you and 99% of people don't download the porn they're watching. And fucking saving images? That's like serious spank bank. Yes. That's like this image is bomb as fuck. Now, I'm not a porn downloader saver, so I don't know. But to me, if you're going through the hassle of saving it, you're going to come back to it. Mm -hmm. You want to see that again. I didn't know that. I just, yeah. uh, you're telling me now for the first time. <laughs> yeah. No, Vosh. No, 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 no. Shout out, Wolfie. <laughs> Those people Thanks, should go Wolf. look at Dude, Wolfie's the man. The wolf. <laughs> you sent it the wolf? Um, obviously. So it's pretty much entirely a take me at my word or don't kind of situation where people are free to lie about the drawings or. As lie? Oh, he's not being honest now. I've already seen on Twitter just post other really bad looking shit and say that's what I had in my folder. There's not much I can do about it. Right. Oh, stop uh, it, it's all totally. That's what? such a fucking bullshit thing. It's like, oh yeah, there's a bunch of rumors out there uh, that all these things. Some's real, you, some isn't. You had it doesn't get worse than what it what it is. It can't get worse. What, like, what does that mean? He downloaded the lolly. You have lolly. You, you admitted had the lolly. to it being, and you even under admitted to understanding that it was lolly. You're like, yeah, I can see that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, brother, come on. Uh, and boy. as we've said a million times, like he's a streamer. If it was anyone else, they could just say a million things, you know, oh, it was for this or that or whatever. He, because he has this whole history, is what makes it so fucked up, which, yeah. That's the, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. Unfalsifiable, and people are going to make whatever assumptions and inferences they want to make. All I can really say is that. I didn't notice the problem while saving the drawings, uh, the same way a person could fail to notice any element of any drawing if they were careless or in it. Bro, that's such, so this image is like, the, the young looking characters is the main focus of the images, if I'm recalling correctly. That's not like buying Where's Waldo and fucking missing the, you know, the Nazi right. in the corner doing a Heil Hitler or something. No, dude. No, and that is a, that was a good addition. It was unexpected, but good. You get, many people didn't know this. Waldo is actually he's a a very uh, fervent Nazi. <laughs> yeah.
kind of disappointing to learn. <sighs> Attentive or distracted. Uh, hell, uh, chat also pretty much immediately clocked to other drawings in the folder preview window as being AI art, something else I didn't notice, and uh, they gave me plenty of shit for that. Of what? Too, because I'm, I'm, I'm not a big fan of AI art. Uh, of horse yeah, I, I think I've done a good job of demonstrating a tendency towards carelessness, if nothing else. So leaving that uh, stupid... So at what point does he say, I just want to fuck horses, I don't want to fuck kids? He says that, right? Yeah, he says you can still make the horse jokes at some point. So he, he, his strategy is like, I'm going to toss them a ton of bones about how embarrassing and pathetic I am mm -hmm. and hope that they gnaw on those and be like, oh, he's so humble. He's so, he's so, so much humility. Yeah. Um, to admit these things. And then, you know, hopefully they ignore the gaping chasm, which is the real issue here. Um, he needs to now explain that new Discord message. But there's actually, I'm, I'm over talking about Vosh unless you think I missed something. No, I was just going to say that his explanations with context end at 120, roughly, of the video. And then the rest is just basically him apologizing to his audience, which I think adds on to what you were saying, basically, that he's just basically <laughs> trying to make himself a victim. Or, yeah, yeah. So, okay, whatever. You, but, but ultimately, he's right. You believe him or you don't. I Sussy. mean, that, that at the end of the day, that's what it is. And if you do believe him, chances are you haven't seen the images. That's my opinion. And if you have, then you need help. We've all jerked at the lolly at some point or another. Honestly. But there's other um, interesting updates here. What was there any? What was the other stuff I wanted to see that was Vosh related? Um, oh, so man. We, the Mr. Girl stuff. Oh, this one! Fucking Keffels was coming for me. Ew. Ethan's phone. I number. guess I didn't never showed this before on stream. I don't think we got. Oh, no, interesting. It. So she posted this. Oh my god! I can't believe what I'm dealing with here. Here's Keffels talking about what a piece of shit I am. Ew. Ethan's phone number. He gave it to me. I'll try to call him later. Do not fucking call me. <laughs> I don't remember giving you my phone number. I don't remember talking to you on the phone. But do not fucking call me, please. Do you want to know the context of that? What's the context? It was back when Twitter circles was still a thing. And oh, I was, okay. I was suicidal. It was before I went to rehab. And he saw a Twitter circle where I was talking about how I wanted to just fucking end it. You? And he reached out and gave me his phone number. Ethan, That's what the context was. You piece of shit. Damn. Piece of shit. What the fuck am I missing? I totally forgot the context. Actually, now I remember that she mentioned it. Yeah, she. I saw her on Twitter. I saw something that I thought was really... um concerning and i wanted to make sure that she had somebody to talk to if she needed somebody so i dm'd her and gave her my phone number um she never called me um however i fail to see how that's proof that i'm an asshole yeah what is she thinking was she thinking like oh he pretended to care about me but he doesn't i think it's like sh she thinks you're minimizing what ha that that she felt that way back in the days or okay. that you turn. Well, she also always says that you turned on her, like, "Oh, you put me up as a hero." That's. A, I think people think that like I'm. They have this really weird notion of like allegiance and like. Yeah. Um, I don't know her at all, and frankly, because I reached out and I was concerned for her, to me, I, I do. It's like a human emotion. That's all, because <laughs> I did something nice for you. Um, what I felt was nice. I don't know if it's objectively nice if you perceived it as such but <clears throat> um means that i owe you that i'm in your debt it's definitely nice i mean what what do you have to gain from it you, she's a smaller creator you reached out to try to help her i mean okay so um yeah i don't really know i don't really get it like i've done I, this happened before where people they are getting fucked with copyright stuff and I reach out and help them with DMCA. And it turns out they're not people that I really fuck with. And so I end up talking about them. 
And then they get this notion that we were like best friends or something because I helped them with some shit. It's like, I mean, I don't know. Oh. I guess for me, helping people like in, in certain situations isn't an endorsement of them as human beings forever. Yeah. I mean, Bausch thought you guys were friends because he, quote unquote, took your side with the whole Hassan stuff. Bro, how can you even say that like, and, and not be embarrassed? Yeah. I don't know. Okay, we got to wrap it up. Dan is telling me, and you're right. This is the whole point. We don't want to end up doing these long ass shows now. Do start doing five hour shows. But this is an important message from Chris Hansen. You have to cool it with the horse stuff, pal. Look, I get it. We all have to push boundaries sometimes, but there are lines and horses, well, that crosses one of my lines. Vosh. <laughs> Um, there, there were leaks that came out. People don't know if it's real yet. Oh my God. Yeah. It sounds bad. Of her with another person? Of just her. I'm pretty sure I haven't looked into it yet, but. This whole. I just saw her name. Got it. We got it. Um. All right. We did it. We started at twelve, kind of twelve ten. How long we've we going? Three forty. Um, yep, three forty. And look how much time we have. Isn't that great? Friends, compadres. Comrades, lollipops, not you guys. I think that if you have an interest in that sort of stuff, you should definitely be checking yourself as to why. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us here today on this Dayquil uh, fueled um, hallucination, whatever it was. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow with the uh, loved Jesse Lee Peterson. I would very much look forward to it. Not the whole episode, it's the call in. But uh, thanks for watching, thanks to all the members, and thanks for everyone for your support, and uh, we'll love you and see you tomorrow.